My name is James D. Fury, and this is <sighs> Casual Friday, Black Ball. It is nice to be here on the day before Christmas Eve, on a day, Friday, where I do not have to prepare for a podcast because it is Casual Friday. Do you have any idea how much this pleases me? However, I did break my own rule today. Um, For the last, I don't know, two months... Whenever I see Tom Green in my newsfeed, I kind of pester him <laughs> to try to get him to come on the show. I, I, I bug him. Um, I will send him a gif of himself um, calling someone a hoser as my way of trying to get him to be like, oh, you, of course I'll come on your show. And it so far has not worked. So I'm trying something different. And so later today, uh, later tonight, I'm going to play the uh, world premiere of a hip hop track I wrote this morning. And by the way, and I'm not just saying this um, because I still, I still think it's pretty dope. I wrote it. I found a beat for it. Then I got really high and I did one take and that was it. And uh, I didn't want to do another take because I, I, I always second guess myself. The second verse could be a bit stronger, you know, in the delivery, but otherwise it's fine. But we're going to have Ryan Lindley here today to sort of, uh, um, you know, navigate us through. I don't know if you were here last week, but I, I fell asleep literally while on the show practically. And then I just left my own show. And you want to know why I did that? Because I can. It's Casual Friday. And um, that's what we do here. I'll try not to do that tonight. Um, I'm not going to smoke a big cannon. And instead, I just did about 60 milligrams of edibles. And that should be enough. That should be enough. But you need to sort out some of the things that we are going to be seeing is the, my, my first guest that I'm going to bring in is a, I don't know, Dave, you're going to have to tell me why, how long we've known each other. I think it's since we were like eight or nine. Um, probably my oldest friend, if not one of them for sure. Um, the oldest friend that I actually talked to, and I don't mean in age, I mean the longest I've ever known him. And his name is David Wichart. David, how are you, buddy? I'm doing really well. How are you doing? Oldest I'm friend? Good. Yes, oldest friend. It is nice to see you again. Um, Dave, you were on the podcast twice, I think. Once when we were... I did that really ill-advised episode about the, my stepmom. Yes, you did. Yes. Glad to be part of that. <laughs> I'm part of all your ill-advised ventures. <laughs> that is true. That is true. I tell the story to this day, and, and some people don't believe me, about the uh, when we snuck into Madison Square Garden. Yes. And... And how much of a Seinfeld episode that really was um, because of the banging on the glass part. Do you remember? Yes, you altered the glass, ultimately causing Wayne Gretzky's wife to be injured the next, the following evening. That evening. But yes, that is correct. That evening. Yeah, yeah, that's it's correct. I, 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 so I knocked out Wayne Gretzky's wife one day. No, but that was like a Seinfeld episode. Um, yes. Yeah, that, <laughs> it really was. We wandered, we wandered around Madison Square Gardens for well over an hour. Yeah. We were in and out all over the place. The arena, the locker rooms. Wasn't there like a Harry Connick Jr.? We went into his dressing room. We went into Harry Connick Jr.'s dressing room. And we found shit. We found nothing. That's the disappointing part about Madison Square Garden is that we we were successful in sneaking in. And we didn't really sneak. We just waltzed in. We just walked around. Well, if you recall... There was an entrance of Madison Square Garden that had an escalator on each side and then this like pavement hallway that you could walk down until you got to a place where you could buy tickets. Oh, okay. And because I always thought I was smarter than what I really was back then, um, I was like, one, one, one uh, escalator had a security guard and the other one didn't. And I'm like, David, let's, let's go to the one with the security guard so that we can hide in plain sight, you see. <laughs> and we went and... Uh, we just not. I just nodded at him. I don't know what you were doing at the time. Probably looking nervous, but I, I just nodded at him and kept walking. And he's like, "Hey, 
hey, where are you guys going over there? And we're just like, we're just going out there. He's like, you need one of these, all right? Get the fuck out of here. You need one of these. And I'm just like, all right. And then we just, and then instead of, and I think you suggested, why don't we just go up the escalator with, with no security guard? And that, like before we tried the one with the security guard. And I was like, that's not how you do these things, David. And then, of course, it didn't work. And then we went up the one with the security, without the security guard. And you're like, see, I told you. And I'm like, shut up. So we went, <laughs> we went yeah, upstairs. It was, it was surprisingly yeah. easy. It was easy. And it was a job fair. Do you remember? And at one point, fair. someone looked at us and realized that we didn't have the magical lanyard that you need uh, to get into um, the job fair. So we just like ducked out through a custodial room. I, I describe it as like a custodial hallway. Like, you know, those doors that have like either an extra lock and a do not enter and like that kind of thing. Like the ones that only janitors use. We walked yeah, in there. Like a, service, a service hallway. Something like that. Yeah. And then we walked through there and then it had a door on the other side of that room. Remember the purple hallway? Is that when we ended up in the, the Knicks? locker room is that where that was no that that so we we so we opened this door and there's a purple hallway and it's a ramp and the ramp is like going down towards this area that has all this stained glass or sorry not stained glass uh tinted glass and it was the owner's like box in the owner's bar remember it was like the player's bar and stuff that vip lounge that's right and we were above the ice and then we i don't remember how we got down a level and then we're down how easy that was i know to pre 9-11 world eh? like I, I, right oh my yeah. god <laughs> um and then we uh then we went downstairs and that's when we went to the next dressing room and stuff i couldn't find any jerseys like i i thought that you'd go into like the next dressing room and there would just be like jerseys and shoes just, like, you know stuff lying shit for james to steal to bring home you know <laughs> and no, it wasn't any of that at all that stuff. no yeah um and so then we uh then we went to the front row and this was the funniest thing ever because um these guys that were cleaning the arena on the other side of the arena. Do you remember? They were like, I remember hey, this. They, they, you could tell the guy like nudged his buddy. He's like, who the fuck are these yes. fucking guys over there? We were spotted. We were outed. I remember so, that. So I unfolded New York city subway map, which is this huge thing. And I start inexplicably, mind you pointing at the ceiling. Cause my idea, I'm like, they're going to think we're architects. <laughs> yes. And it worked though. Cause I would look at the paper with you. And I would look over in the direction that you're pointing and I would agree with you. Yeah. So, looks like they know and what to do. You did that for a good three or four minutes. We were like yeah. architects for a good three or four minutes. That's right. We and, and, which, which actually makes it a Seinfeld episode. And then, um, and then for some reason at the end, I decide to push on the glass and then we run and we're running and running and we run down escalators and then we get to the bottom of that one escalator and I see boots and I look up and it's the security guard that originally denied us. And he's like, what the fuck are you guys doing? And I'm like, looking for the exit. And he's like, it's right there. And we just walk out. <laughs> it's just like, it all came around for a circle like a Vignay. And then later that night, we were at this place called the Allstate Tech Cafe with my sister. Um, I had an unfortunate incident there the following night where I tried to steal money off the bar for some stupid reason. And then the bartender took out his bat and he's like, we don't do that shit here. <laughs> I'm like, I'm drunk. I'm sorry. Um, but we were at the L State Cafe and uh, and we're watching the hockey game and Elf Samuelson body checks somebody into the boards and the glass fell and knocked out Gretzky's wife and the and the guy commentated on how uh, quickly these the stretcher got there because it was the laneway um, that was right in the middle of the arena and she was sitting in the front row right in front of the piece of glass that we had manipulated so I. I'm sorry, Wayne Gretzky, but it's a, it's still a great story. <laughs> you better hope he doesn't see this. Yeah, I don't think he cares. He's the great one. Of course he'll care. To I knocked out Janet Evans, you know. Hopefully he's never done that, but yeah, I have. Well, didn't um, we also run into a New York Nick as well? Outside of the arena or in the lobby area? You're some guy who's like, you recognize me? And you were like, Yeah. And it was one of the players. Do you remember that? No, he was I don't. in his regular clothes. I don't remember that at all. I recognize the player that was in his regular clothes. Yeah, he wasn't like he was just he just happened to be in the area of the arena, like just outside, and we ran into him. And you you were looking at him for a little bit too long, and he said, "Do you recognize me?" And you were like, "Yeah, you were you are so and so," and it was one oh. of the New York Knicks. Oh, I don't remember that. Yeah. <laughs> I have no I, memory of that at all. 
It's so strange that you wouldn't remember that part. The guy was huge. Um, I remember he was like six, seven or something like that. I do remember though that we um we were wandering, like we just wandered a lot on that trip. And it yeah. was late at night, not late at night, but like 8 30, 9 o'clock. It was dark. It was like I think we, we went in October, I believe, right? It was Manhattan in the fall, wasn't it? It was definitely in the fall, yeah. And we we uh so we're walking along Canal Street and it was like dark and then like a street light and then like pure darkness and then a street light. And we like so we see this man materialize and it's like fucking Morpheus. Like like it was this huge guy, black dude, bald head, like and he just looked, you know, is just like, well, he could probably eat us if he wanted to, because we're these like what what were we like twenty years old or something like that? Yeah. And we're you know we're walking along with Manhattan, a couple of like crazy Canadians, but we were legit scared because there was nobody on the street. So so he materializes in the street light, and we're in and we're underneath the street light that's like uh, the next one, and or no like uh, two street lights ahead of him, and then we both start walking towards each other, and it's like well we're in the darkness now, you know, and then we met at the next street light, and he's like. Hey guys, and we're like, oh fuck. Hi. And he opens up, he goes like this, and he reaches inside his lapel. And um, and Dave, you told the story like a few weeks later. You're like, and that's when I thought we were dead. <laughs> well, you know what? It's funny that you said, I thought it seemed like such a cliche way. You know, you've seen it so many times in the movies, like every opening of LA, uh, like all those crime shows, the dark right. alley. It seems so cliche, and it was, it was playing out right before me i'm like oh my god <laughs> so he reaches into his lapel and he's like i got something for you guys and i was like oh fuck it that's it we're gonna die on the streets of new york and then he pulls out two tickets to the 25th anniversary high times event at the wetlands and i don't know if you knew this i didn't know this at the time but the wetlands is like a seriously famous club in new york that is no longer open and we went there and, uh, you know, just long story short, all these amazing artists were there. Um, I don't remember any of them offhand right now, but we, that we sat down, Herbalizer, people like that. And then we were downstairs and we were downstairs and I was like passing a blunt. Every time in the United States and I don't roll something and I'm smoking something, it's a blunt all the time. And, uh, and I'm getting really high. And then all of a sudden I look up and I'm so stunned. I'm just like this. And I'm like, Oh, wait a second. Oh, shit. I'm sitting with the roots. <laughs> These are the roots. And yeah. I was like, this is dope. And I was like, Dave, I'm sitting with the roots. And you're like, who are the roots? <laughs> Fuck. I was pretty high, man. I was the whole time I was thinking, how the hell are we going to get back? Yeah. No, I know. I, well, we took a cab, I think. Um, if you're chatting Ooh. on the... Um, the YouTube chat for some reason uh, that is not coming in to the actual chat overlay and maybe Ryan. Oh, Ryan no, is never not, mind. Just I'm bring sorry. it right in. <laughs> I'm sorry. Fucking fine. Okay. <laughs> if I, if I turn on the chat overlay, will that help? Now I just, uh, I just jumped into the actual YouTube. I, I opened it up in another window and told them that uh, we can't see them, uh, but I can see them from here. So it's a little, convoluted but what if i were high will that get things going probably not okay and they can't even see me on youtube according to this see that? yeah i don't know are you uh do you fuck up and screw up youtube i don't <laughs> think so <laughs> are you are you you're banned broken. from youtube james participate community moderation toggle is there any settings in youtube that i should worry about no, I've, ar no, I've already looked is this is just a restream thing we had problems with this on the on the dean blundell show all week so oh, okay yeah well, in any event, um, welcome everybody. I can see you in the YouTube thing. I'll try to figure out a way to to just sort of see both as I go. I can see him. Oh, yeah. Now you're me. Um, let me change your name for you. Oh, you're not Ryan Lindley. You're James D. Fiore. That is true. I am that guy. I am that guy. Well, I'll fix that for you while we're doing this. But uh, yeah, good to be here. It's uh, Friday, and it's uh, been a fuck of a day. So. Yeah, tell me about your day, Ryan. <laughs> it's been great. I, uh, I, I, I'm on vacation, okay, so I can't complain. Mm -hmm. I got here uh, this morning and uh, from my bed because, as you do, you arrive to your other parts of the house. 
This is, this is riveting. Um, yesterday was uh, was interesting. Like this entire the storm that is surging throughout like most of the country and heading down south as we speak has uh, thrown a wrench into everything in everybody's plans and screwed everything up. But it kind of it was a blessing in disguise. My daughter is here now with us, uh-huh. and the cat is also her cat is here as well, hiding in a room upstairs, away from Charlie. Um, does Charlie like cats? <laughs> he does, but this is a very um, geriatric cat. Oh, uh, so like a kidney cat kind of thing. What's that? Kidney cat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So she's uh, she's she's hanging out. She's she's comfortable. She's having a nice time. But uh, where she where my daughter lives with her mom is in Low Banks, Ontario, which is like right on the shores of Lake Erie, and. It's literally named Low Banks because the banks are low and they are um, 14 feet. Like where their their house is 14 feet above the lake level when it's normally at its normal peak. Right. So with this storm, what has happened is, is everything's moved east. Um, so if you look at like Pele right now, Point Pele, it's like Pele Island, you know, like out yep. that, that side over by Windsor. It's receded like 20 feet from the shores in Pili and pushed east oh. where my daughter lives. So now it's almost as though the lake is level with the actual road, which wow. is 14 feet low usually, right? So it's not something that they normally um, worry about. They have these like over the road floodings all the time down there. Like uh, there's events every year, every couple of months. So, but this one, they actually, uh, <clears throat> they actually said, yeah, this one's bad because they're looking at 32 foot record breaking swells in Lake Erie, which is unheard of because it's so shallow usually. Right. So we, uh, we said, okay, my, my ex again, normally a hard as nails doesn't care that you, they'll put their wellies on, put their raincoats on and go hang out and play in the, in the water and take fun pictures. This one, she called me on Monday and said, we're watching the modeling of this, and uh, can you take Kaylee on Thursday night out with the cat to your house, and I'm going to stay here, and they have a second floor just in case shit went south, right? So I'm like, are you serious? She's like, oh, yeah. So I, I actually brought, she sent me some videos today of what's going on there. Yeah. So this is how it started. We're literally just getting to the start of my fucking day here today. So... <laughs> So this is how it, this is what it looks like right now. So that is normally like where the, where you see the waves cresting, you normally have to go down you have to like walk and like scale down a wall of rock to get to to get to the water. Yeah. Yeah. And now it's literally level with, with, with that. There's another one here. You know what's funny? But you know the first thing I thought of? If that was Thailand, there'd be like Malaysian tourists there taking selfies and then a wave would just wash them away. Don't laugh. There's people surfing somewhere. Ashley saw a picture of some fucking idiot out on a surfboard. I don't know if it was Ontario, Lake Ontario because Lake Ontario is experiencing the same thing right now. Um, but all the Great Lakes are, are apparently under, everybody on the shorelines are under warnings in certain spots. But yeah, some assholes out in a surfboard thinking is it, you know, fun and cool and i'm gonna get a viral video he's probably gonna die i hope he's dead like i hope he actually died today uh, i hope it's uh i hope it hurts nice. yeah, well no because you know what you're doing you're just showing people like oh well maybe i'll try that for a viral video next year or the next time this happens great lakes also, aren't the ocean man do you know who i blame for this point break the movie yeah, me too me too you know <laughs> i'm just kidding i hope no i hope everybody's safe i hope those idiots fucking learn a lesson you can't do that in a, in a lake it doesn't you can't surf here what were you anyway. gonna say david i was gonna say he also puts other people in danger right someone has to go out and rescue this kid that oh, you know, as well firefighters and yeah yeah well so it's, it's an absolute fucking nightmare so we're i don't know what's it doing up there james in, in killaloo is it actually snowing um, it's been snowing we have probably two and a half feet of snow maybe three feet of snow this um, is what in the last like 20, 
Oh yeah, that's it. That's that's what it looks like. Yeah, it, right outside it, of my garage about yeah. an hour wow. ago. And it's still coming down, right? So yeah. And I'm in like I'm in Bimbrook, like I'm in the snow belt area, I guess you can say, right? So but if you're so, in the snow belt, I'm in the snow underwear. You're so. yeah, you're in the you're in the snow attire. Is I'm where, where the are. Ottawa Valley meets the Madawaska Valley. And it's like, yeah, it's it, yeah, it's, it doesn't get we any woke up, there was either. about maybe a foot and a half snow, something like that, and then it just hasn't stopped snowing all day. It was supposed yeah. to get to like two degrees and rain for a while on top of that, but instead mm. it just stayed at around zero or minus one, and it just it literally has not stopped like it just we had rain cold. all night long so everything was ice when the flash freeze came through like, oh, okay. like it just it just froze everything up and then the snow was now on top of it and but like every single major corridor in the in ontario right now to the borders is shut down every highway both directions is shut down like london 401 is shut down uh kiwi niagara is shut down like anything that is is affecting any sort of shipping through cross border yeah. stuff it's it's almost like a convoy without a convoy it's great um so they um david are you offended at that i'm just thinking about the hat no 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 i'm just thinking here we're not here we're not we're getting more blowing snow than anything we're not really getting accumulation but we're getting yeah. a lot of wind a lot of like strong cold wind and blowing snow yeah you're yeah. in toronto right Dave? yeah we're, we're in toronto yeah so it's so here um it's and it's blowing like south from the southwest ish area, right? So, so as I'm getting prepared for the show tonight, I decide I'm gonna come downstairs and and just you know make sure everything's you know ready to rock, all good, and realize that I uh, after the Dean Blundell show yesterday because we didn't do a show today, we weren't we like that we were dark today. We didn't do we didn't do anything. We said we're done until January second. Oh wow! So. I didn't come downstairs at all. It's the only reason why I come ever come down here is this is the studio. There's nothing really to do down here, so whatever. So we've been upstairs all day, and I came down and realized that I had left the window open Ooh. in the studio, and um, yeah, apparently it's a blizzard in the house as well. And that is so fucking weird. So there's a screen there. And it yeah. still did this, right? It came through the screen. Yeah. So normally there's a fan jammed up in that window because I usually like I'll hawk a dart down here every once in a while when I'm on the show. And mm -hmm. the fan, it's like a, a really good big industrial heavy, like it's a heavy little dude that sits up in that window. The wind literally knocked that fan right out of the fucking and it's like a, a nine inch windowsill. It's not like a small little windowsill. It's like a big ledge. Like you could you could put probably 40 hummels up there if i was an old lady it's like that's how big these ledges are and it knocked that thing down onto the ground and just let the snow fly into the studio so i came down here it was like minus four in the basement we didn't feel it upstairs because the doors are all closed yeah and so to my thank like i don't know who to thank um so like his shit was covered in snow like the camera had snow on it my monitors yeah. had snow on them what about the your board, new toy the board was okay. The board didn't have any snow, but uh, because it was so cold, it just stayed snow. It didn't actually like liquefy and like get into the shit. So I got the shop vac, and if you look at that carpet, it's fucking hilarious. When you get when you get a shop vac in front of the like couch, a, yeah. When you get a shop vac with a sharp edge on it, it's almost like a little plow. And I plowed the snow on my carpet into oh piles God. and then was able to suck it into the shop vac. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like normal down here now. And the heat's cranking. Everything feels good again, thankfully. And uh, yeah, so yeah, here we are. Dude, I, 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 this, Friday. Is, this isn't like that at all. But like, I would have had worse luck with that. Dave, when you were here that one time, um, we this is when I was still drinking. This was probably about four years ago or something. And we were, I have this long harvest table. I guess it's like, I don't know. It's like 12 feet long <clears throat> and three feet wide. Okay. Seats like, I don't know, fucking 12 people or something. And, um, um, but, but it dips in one side. Right. And, uh, I left my, like, so Dave and I are up and we're the last two up, and, you know, we open up the fourth bottle of wine or whatever the fuck we were doing. And, and then, uh, go to sleep and wake up the next morning and my laptop is sitting on the table and I pick it up and it's soaked. Oh. and it was just sitting in a puddle of water um 
And the best theory that I have is that the cat knocked over a glass from the other side of the table and it just went down to where the dent in the table was, where the laptop unluckily just happened to be and settled there. <laughs> so mm -hmm. it just like marinated my laptop Holy and nothing shit. was retrievable. And I got blamed. My alcoholism was blamed. <laughs> I don't think it was that fault. I don't, you know, <laughs> As it always no. is. It's not fair. Fuck, I always blame me for shit. <laughs> you know? Okay. Um, let's see now. Are these... What, what is this video here? What is this? What, what, oh, what is no, 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 no. Leave that for a second. And, okay. Yeah, okay. No, th this is gonna, that's going to take some explaining. Um, okay. It's edited down to... Uh, it, it's. We're going to have a chat about that later. Should I get the Tom Green thing over with? If you want, I, I think uh, I listened to it and it's it, it's awesome. Like it's absolutely awesome. So yeah, I think you should. We have a guy sitting here in a cowboy hat with a guitar, and you're gonna rap. Um, I don't know what kind of show this. I, is I, no, no, I'm not gonna do it live. I'm gonna play the trial. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, right? <laughs> so it's up to you. Whatever you want to start with, I'm down. It's your show. I'm here. Let's do it. Um, well, hold on, Dave. Let's remember our rehearsal. Okay, and I had nothing to say on Christmas Day. <laughs> through. Thank you. Thank you. We're here all night, folks. Keep going. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, we have to go back to rehearsal with that because I, I, I thought that was the only line of the song. I thought that was like every once in a while we would just do this. I had nothing to say on Christmas Day. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. It's perfect. On demand. Yeah, that's right. Love it. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, I'll wait for a bit. I'll wait for a bit. Um, you know, I don't really mind. It, you know what? Normally I hate chat, but it is kind of bothering me that but I can't, can't see, see it. it. I know. Yeah. I can see it. You can see it on yours? Yeah. So you know what? Here, let's let's talk. Let's actually like narrate some chats. Oh um, yeah. Yeah, blame the cat. Sure, blame the cat. Kitties is rebels. This is what I mean about the chat in our shows. Like it's mm. got nothing to do with us. They don't give a flying fuck about what we're doing, right? Like they every never time they go to the chat, it's always like I usually put a five three five on that and go to uh, go to Twitch, everybody, if you're uh, listening, because. Cockballs oh, was just sent to us by Kit Bonby. Oh, yeah, I guess Twitch works. That's good. Yeah. So it's uh, Dean Blundell TV on uh, Twitch. Oh, if you have Twitch, you can. we can actually see the comments from Twitch. Just say cockballs, they said. Mm. Just say. So we're saying cockballs. Twitch gets the worst of our audience members, right? Like, cause who really goes to Twitch? <laughs> Twitch is great. I, I wish people would come over to Twitch more. I don't think I've ever been to Twitch. I know. Like my show is broadcasting on old, Twitch right this and second, and I don't think I've ever been there. I'm hip. I'm one of the hip forty-year-olds. I can, like, in my forties, saying that I'm hip and I know what Twitch is. So, um, I don't think anyone says hip anymore. So, um, well, you're I, out. I might, I might yeah. need one soon. So I don't know. We'll see. That's fair enough. <laughs> um, okay, who do we have here? I think uh, Con. There he is. Hey, Paul. Hey guys, how you doing? Holy fuck is this wrong? Paul Atkinson from the Eager Beaver podcast and Beaver Bites, which is also a game that lesbians play. How are you doing, buddy? <laughs> nice. I'm great. That, that, that was a good one. I, I didn't see good. that one coming. You, you got me. Good. My, my mouth was open. My mouth was open. On hey, with Beaver Bites, no one sees them coming. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hi, what's up, Polly? Hey, guys. I'm just uh, hanging out at home. I was, uh, you know, worked work from home. We did a show this morning. I don't know if you had a chance to catch any of it or not. And then uh, worked all day, went to the pub for a, a pint with a couple of buddies. There was nobody there. Then all of a sudden, so we were like, okay, this is always you know, a pint. Well, no, it literally was a pint. I had a pint and we were chilling out, just totally relaxing. And then a whole bunch of people came in and it got really noisy. And I'm like, uh, all of a sudden the vibe changed. So I was like, mm -hmm. uh, give me two cans of beer to go. I'm going to go home. Got home, had a snack, drank two cans of beer, 
passed out, woke up about 30 minutes ago and go, hey, maybe I'll jump on the show for a little bit, realize <laughs> I have no alcohol in my house at all. Nothing, no you wine, no idiot. beer, no whiskey, nothing. So I thought I'd pop in real quick and uh, say hi, stay for a couple minutes. Then I'm going to go back to the pub. <laughs> oh, well, that sounds like fun. So you nap, you, you actually you're went okay to start drinking again when you, when you drink and then nap because of the alcohol and then wake up and you're ready to go again? Well, no, I, I, I've been suffering from insomnia lately and I've not been sleeping at all. So oh, okay. just, that's a, yeah, uh, yeah. that's a dedication to alcoholism that if I've ever seen it, like I'm, <laughs> I'm a fucking heavy drinker myself, but to actually go and take a half time in between uh, fucking pints, you're a fucking legend, my man. Good for you. Like you gotta do what you gotta you. do. Right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, Wow. Paul, what, what is it? The pub oh, that you broadcast on. from, Paul? Yes, yeah, same pub, uh, Left Hand's Pump. Uh, it's my favorite pub in in, in the region, in the city. Uh, it's one of the friendliest pubs in Canada, as, as far as I'm concerned. And I visited a pub or two in, in this country in my days. So yeah, I, I just love hanging out there. The staff is great, and I've been going there since 1988. So you know, it's kind of second home for me. Mm -hmm. awesome. Because we can't um, because we can't see the comments. DQ says alcohol is bad for insomnia. Well, you know what? Judgment is bad for your dental plan. So stop. <laughs> Okay. Lisa needs braces. <laughs> Hello, Joe. <laughs> Dental plan. Yeah. Dental plan. I Dental have, plan. I have Simpsons Tourette's. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Dude, someone told me the other day, because I, um, I, I, I let my kids watch The Simpsons. I watch it with them, and they're eight and six. And people are like, oh, my gosh. Like, oh, James, are you serious? And I'm like, stop. First of all, they don't understand any of the, the jokes that they shouldn't. I right. cover my daughter's eyes, at least when Itchy and Scratchy comes on. Right. <laughs> and, um, well, uh, you know, I just because it's kind of violent and everything. Tom and and, um, and whenever they talk about fucking Marge is just like, you want to snuggle Homer? Right. And it's just snuggling. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, and I think it's fine. I accidentally um, let my I'm like, son, are you, are you cool to pick on Netflix? He's like, yeah. And he, he, I didn't realize that he was in like the non kid section. And he picked to his credit Family Guy um, okay. because it's a cartoon. And I walked in and I was like, oh, whoa, 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 wait, what are you doing? And he's just like watching Family Guy. He's like, that baby's hilarious. And all of a sudden there's a Quagmire scene. And I'm like, okay, oh, no. well, that's it. We're out of here. Like, you know, <laughs> and I think it was like, hey, Quagmire, isn't there an O in country? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Well, on a spelling test, he got nine out of ten, but he couldn't spell country right. I'm like, oh. <laughs> see, <laughs> yeah, but those are those are jokes that aren't going to go over with those kids usually no, anyway. They they'll, they'll just like breeze right over them anyway, so it's not a big deal. My, I yeah. swear to God, my kid's been sitting upstairs watching Family Guy all day right now. But how old is she though? All day. Well, she's 15, but she's yeah. been watching it with us since she was probably eight or nine. And it's like they don't they don't they don't soak those jokes in, and no. like even today, they joke Ashley about was, child molestation like every third episode. Yeah, well, you, how else do you expose them to it without a little bit of humor? You, <laughs> you know, don't like, expose yeah. them to child molestation. That's the whole point. But they need to know what to look out for. Like, look out for Herbert the pervert. Like, if Herbert, if somebody like Herbert comes near you, you're gonna know Run. about him now. Right? Can, so, can I get that? Can I get the paper boy over here with that big strong arm? His muscly arms. Oh my! Muscly arms. Oh, Chris! Oh, you Chris. were with the paper four times this week. Oh, oh. 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 Hey there, hey there, muscly arm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, how so else are they gonna know unless we show them the True. real gritty um, stranger truth. danger? About, yes, that's right. Stranger that was, danger. That was such a good child, uh, like whatever that character's name is, Herbert? Um, impersonation that YouTube might take us down because <laughs> they think we are violating the copyright of, of, of the fucking family. Guy the best. We were just talking about this the other day, and there was a scene where where Herbert's walking down the street, and there's like a, they threw out their old mattress or something, and there was like kids like playing and laying on the mattress, and Herbert's walking by. That's a trap. I know that's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> that's just that's just that's bait that's just a trap i was fucking dying i love that show so much uh so i i, so, I like it I, I i like it a lot but everyone um all my friends uh 
Yeah. Not all my friends, but a few friends have been like, James, if you were ever a Family Guy character, you would be Brian. There's no doubt in my mind that is who you are. And I was just like, why? And it was when I used to drink. And uh, my buddy Adam would be like, oh, why? How's your book going? I'm like, fuck you. Utilizing the rising action? Hmm? You got lots of character sketches, do you? Hmm? Yeah, yes, that was me. I, I heard a thing years ago. Uh, I was driving. I, was, I had been working in Toronto and I was driving back to Ottawa. I'd been there for like three days, driving back home. And I'm, the only thing I get was an AM radio station. This is over 20 years ago. And this preacher comes on and I'm like, oh, Christ, I'm ready to shut it off. And he goes, The Simpsons is the most family friendly show on television. And I went, oh, hang on a sec. What? <laughs> hang on. I, I want to hear what this guy has to say. And then he yeah. broke it down and he says, look, Homer Simpson loves his wife, works a job he hates to take care of his family. They go to church every Sunday as a family. He's had umpteen opportunities to cheat on his wife, never does. Bart does something stupid in every episode and learns from it each and every time. Good he point. values his friends. I'm like, you know what? That's true. <laughs> the, the baby the is the shell shocked and can't speak for thirty years. <laughs> yeah, but well, you know, <laughs> none of them seem to grow. They're totally malnourished, <laughs> and I, they have liver. They have liver failure. That's why they're jaundice. Yes, that's exactly what it is. At I always Simpsons, thought that the Simpsons would have been um, well served after like the twentieth season or whatever to just start aging the characters like it mm. was real life. I always thought that that would be the direction that they would end up going in. Has Have any you ever seen the AI ever ones? Done that? No, I don't think so. I Have you ever seen the AI seen. versions of the characters? Like they say, they take Mo, Mo Simps, uh, Mo, uh, Mo the bartender, Mo Sislak, and they've done an AI of what he would look like in real life. Yeah, it's astonishingly accurate. It's scary. Is it Steve Buscemi? Does he look like Steve Buscemi? Yeah. Not. I can't, uh, I'm just saying. There's a you little know, bit I'm of Steve in there. I'll find it. I'll See if you can it. find it's crazy, man. I was like, holy shit, it's Moses like in real life. Like they could do a CGI version of The Simpsons in real life. It's it's creepy good. Yeah. AI, man. Know. It's you know it's, I'm a little annoyed with the whole AI getting into art thing. It, I, there's a part of me that likes it for uh, how, how it can take something that maybe somebody couldn't theoretically create. Theoretically, right? But at the same token as somebody who studied art, I hate it with a passion at the same time. I can respect it, but hate it, if that mm -hmm. makes any sense. Because yeah. I did study art. I wanted to be an artist. I'm actually a skilled sketch artist, but it's, it's just not. I'm not. Um, I, I'm great at mimicry. So if I see. Uh, yeah, there you Holy go. Holy shit. Right? There you go. Most is lack. Isn't that not crazy? I don't like how good that is. <laughs> right? <Wow. laughs> Even like the overgrown eyebrows. All of it. Well, the mouth Everything. is the only thing throwing me off because it, it looks like that's the only thing that makes it look not human. Like no Giant one has a mouth bite. that looks like that unless they have those, you know, those African tribes that put bones in their lips, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is a more. Uh, there, hang on. I'm going to get the other one. There is another version where there is a more less realist one. Yeah. yeah. The Mr. I'll, Burns I'll one. Have you seen that right one? Now. The Mr. Burns Here, one is creepy is, uh, good, too. Yeah, this is the other one. This is the one that's a little more close. That's the one, yeah. That's the one that I went, holy shit. That's not a real person? Nope. That's AI. No, wow. That's, that's AI. I don't like what's happening. <laughs> it's creepy good, right? <laughs> I don't like how I feel right now. I want to get off the ride. <laughs> well, see, that's what I mean. It's like I, I, I could I could draw no, that yeah. picture and make it look almost identical, but I could not pull that out of my mind and create it. And yeah. that's the difference. I, I don't have the ability to just create like that, but I, I can mimic something. So that's, you know, I, I have the skill set with the hand-eye coordination, but mm. I don't have the imagination. I never have. Can you oh mimic Douglas? Oh, my goodness. Look who's here. <laughs> hey, everyone. Hey, it's brother. the other half of the Eager Beaver the podcast. Actual Beaver, Beaver is Bites. here. Yes, that's right. Wait, you're the Eager, Paul, and he's the Beaver? No, I'm not. He's the he's Mr. Beaver. I'm Mr. Grizzly. He's the eager beaver. Oh, okay. Okay. That's yeah. right. I'm, I'm Mr. Grizzly because I'm a grizzled old veteran of the nightclub scene. I don't know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right you are. Battle of is that what that is? Eh? 
<laughs> I am How are you doing, Douglas? <laughs> Straight out uh, of Keswick. I am, you know what? I am doing really well because uh, the plan originally this morning was to be on the road to Toronto, and we decided to stay home, and I made soup, so my ribs are happy, and I'm safe, and I'm warm inside because I've been watching some Twitter stuff about accidents all over the 401. Oh, and some you saw of that? Pretty that, nasty. that viral footage of that truck nailing that, that car? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's scary shit. Yeah, that one yeah, was like, bad. yeah, we made the right decision. Yes. <laughs> no kidding. Dude, I took a snowplow home. Like, like my ride home from the library today was a snowplow. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> that's the beauty of small towns. I'm like, Terry, what oh, are yeah. you doing? He's like, I'm plowing driveways. And I'm like, can I? He's like, get a ride home in the snowplow. I'm like, yeah. He's like, okay. <laughs> so nice. That's what I did. <laughs> yeah, it, listen, if you're going to get a ride in a blizzard, it might as well be in a snowplow, you know? Did you just come from the gym, Douglas? No, 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 not not at all. Oh, Why? Because okay. you're, you're looking jacked. <laughs> oh, looking no, jacked? Yeah. Is that a hat or a sweatband? No, no, it's a Santa hat. Oh, okay. Oh, there you go. You got to fling it's that shit Santa in the front. Hat. Uh, yeah, and of course, you know, I brought the glitter. Yeah, that's right. And the bling. <laughs> no, 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 just peeling carrots, you know? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are like the biggest humble braggers ever. It's like <laughs> Paul and his penis and you and your guns, you know? Like, we're always... <laughs> Oh, don't worry about it, James. I just talk to beautiful women all the time. That's what you said last week on the show. <laughs> like, well, no. I do. <laughs> Hold on. Um, I, I like I, I like David's speech. cowboy hat, though. I I I had a yeah. cowboy hat similar to that. Can't find it anywhere. Bought a straw one years ago, and it just completely disintegrated. I got to go out and get a good one, like a proper Stetson. That's so what that, David has. You know, it changed his life. I, didn't it, I don't David? ride. I don't ride horses because I'm allergic to them. I used to when I was younger, and then the allergy developed. But I miss having a cowboy hat. There's occasions when a cowboy hat is called for. Oh, definitely. David, can you please tell him the, uh, the evolution of, of, of David with the cowboy hat? Because I think it's one of the greatest stories ever. I put this cowboy hat on and suddenly a mustache appeared. <laughs> <laughs> Your nose was so important you had to underline it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, we're such stats. But David, you're living, David lives in the Queen West. And, um, you know, life during the pandemic, you know, uh, walking down the street, like, David, you do a better job in telling it, but, like, you know, you, you had a sort of idea of, um, of, of how life kind of sucked on Queen West. And then all of a sudden you get a Stetson, and what happened? Uh, everyone's staring at me. <laughs> But in a good way. His, even his wife, right? And you know wives, they don't really like right. to spend a lot of time complimenting their husbands over and over again. Even his <laughs> wife was like this. She was like, I got, I got to say, like, we'd walk down the street and, like, out of 10 women, like, six, seven would look yeah. and give him a once over and be like, damn. Yeah. Like, damn. And then he grew the mustache and that stopped happening entirely. <laughs> you know. Now he's on lists near schools. He can't go like yes. 200 meters from the school. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know why those police keep bothering me. <laughs> why don't you come over to my basement and I'll uh, show me your feet. You like some popsicles? <laughs> oh, <that's so> funny. <clears throat> oh my God. Okay. Um, Paul, when are you going to the pub? Uh, about uh, 10, 15 minutes, roughly. Okay. We have, a, we have Dean standing by. Um, can we put six Actually, people in? He popped in? out. I don't know where he went. Okay. We can put six people in, though. If you, you know what? Oh, yeah. He won't come back now. That's it. No, he won't. No. He's done. Oh, you didn't can put me in right away? Oh, get, I'm out of here. He's like can a, we get nine and do the Brady Bunch thing? He might be going to his actual um, setup, though. He was he was calling in from his phone, so he might actually be going to his setup. I can also phone him, by the way, off through this board and give him. If I truth. say yeah. out loud, if Dean, if you're listening, and if I say out loud, don't come in. I'm telling you <laughs> what to do, and it's to not come in. Then, he, then maybe he'll come in. Maybe, right, <clears throat> Dave? You might be onto something. Dave, her rehearsal. I had nothing to say on Christmas Day. When you threw Thank you, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, David. Um, Fantastic. Here's my cowboy hat. It's gone now. It fell apart. Wow, look at that brave mustache you have going on. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. My Lord. <laughs> well, I had to grow the beard for the Halloween That's costume. a pride mustache. That Shaved looks like a down. pride mustache to me. Yeah, it is rather pride-like. With the hat? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. I supported one like that at once or once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> um, <That's not> funny. <laughs> it's like, man, I don't know. There's something about mustaches, man. Like I don't I can't first of all, I can't grow a proper one and I don't really want to. That's why I, I end up shaved and then I and then I realized I had Mubin Sheik one on once. Yeah. And the day before, or that morning actually, I, I, I didn't trim my beard, but I just shaved off my mustache. And uh-huh. all and during like the green room part, he's like, Are you Muslim? <laughs> <laughs> like no? why there are certain there are certain people that just can't they can't rock it and they have it looks like they've almost like they've they've eaten like something sticky like a toffee apple or something and then put their face in the corner of a dusty room and that's what they end up with right like it just looks like cat hair and fluff and it's like why are you even trying at this point just like William Burroughs wrote that wrote that mustache description for you <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's what it comes it's like to mind. he was peering under the hutch and a dust bunny collected onto itself and landed on his nose, you know, or something. Well, you don't want to know what goes on in here. <laughs> um, can you guys play amongst yourself for three minutes while I go outside and smoke a joint? Sure. Okay. Perfect. Casual Friday. I'm reminding everybody this is what we do, or at least this is what I do on Casual Friday. So, um, there we go. Oh yeah. Maybe Dave, that, you know what? He's party. he's gonna go. Dave, can you play us something? Can you actually like play us sure. something cool? I'll play us off. All right, cool. That was dark, dude. That was very dark. <laughs> I want to go build a snowman now. I, I'm literally, <laughs> I'm literally double fisting a rum and eggnog and a whiskey, and uh, yeah, now I feel like I want to cry. Thanks, the glass, thanks Dave. Merry Christmas to you, too, you son of a bitch. Scare the glass. We need to give this model some mouth to mouth. <laughs> oh, is that a Rioja? That was fantastic. I loved it. I thought I thought when you were doing that, oh, that Christmas Day, nothing to say. I thought you guys were just like fucking with us and saying that that's, well, that's exactly that's, that's what a we were real doing. legit song, but dark. That's that a was good, great. Dark I loved Christmas it. Song. Well, I, I had a meeting this morning, and Do you have uh, someone to call if you need to, Dave. Or no. uh, <laughs> this out. I got a bottle of whiskey back here. I'm okay. Okay, good. <laughs> I had three meetings this morning, back to back, and in one of them, I was just with my work crew, like the whole crew, and I said, "Hey, hang on, I got a song for you guys." And I started to play it, and I, I played like two seconds of it, and I shut it down. I go, "Isn't that a classic?" And they're like, "Never heard of it." I'm like, "You've never heard of Fairy Tale of New York." Oh, Pogues. that's a, that is a great song, the Pogues. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I'm like, you've never, and everybody's like, never heard it. And I go, here's a link. I can't, I'm, wow. I got, I'm leaving this meeting. I'm shocked. <laughs> like, if any, you. <laughs> if, yeah. If you haven't heard that, Dave, Dave, do you, do you play like, do you, are you in a band or uh, like, yeah, I'm I do. Sorry. I, do I, I play, yeah. Like, where is it? Is it a band or is it a solo well, act? Right or? now, I just, I just do singer songwriter stuff. I just play, yeah, along, that sort of thing. Yeah. Very good. Do you like, you play live? You, you do, like, like, sorry. You do live, you do like acoustic stuff. Well, you not do so like much pop now, shows? but I'm thinking of getting back into doing that. But before I used to play in bands in and around the city. Was it because of, of like COVID and shit? Like you kind of like fell off and. 
Yeah, like everything was closed. Yeah. Sort of. Yeah, I just sort of lost my way, sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and and kind of lose that yeah, spark. Yeah, yeah, I bet. But I'm I back. Know <laughs> I know. I know exactly what you mean. I I have a couple of guitars, and I've been playing for geez 40 years now but i'm no musician i'm i'm the campfire guitar player right? right and i will pick up my guitar and sometimes i'll go six eight months and i will play three four hours a day yeah then i'll put it down and it, it will gather dust for six months to a year sometimes and i don't know why i don't get it it's i think it's the adhd <laughs> i just okay i can't i can't i can't deal with it now i can't deal with it now i don't know what it is so was it, was it a band that you were in, Dave, or, or like, or was it always just like solo stuff? Because you can totally rock it with when you can play two instruments at once. That that, that blows my mind. The people that can do like piano and harp, or guitar and harp, like it's always been. I, I can't like I tried drums for a bit, and it's right. I can't I can't separate the left hand and the right hand. I'm, I've got that caveman problem, right? So. <laughs> Dave so was in a band you, once. Is, Dave, is Dave was a in a band I, once I was, I was in the middle of a question, but thanks for coming back. Um, <laughs> no. it, it, no, like, right. was, is it always a solo thing, or were you were you actually like was, were you a band I player? Was in, I was in a band. Yeah, I used yeah. to play uh, bass in the local bands, that sort of thing. Very yeah. cool. He was in a band called Capital once, and Capital was probably the best band that you were in. But Dave had a signature move um, oh. where where he would um, play the bass, but. With his back to the audience. Yeah, I don't like people. So you're like Prince. <laughs> Prince used to play with the lights down in the house. Like he would, oh, he he would order. Wrong? He would show. Yeah. You would show up. You would pay five hundred bucks for a fucking ticket to go see Prince, and he'd just show up one day and not feel like seeing anybody. He'd be like, "Shut all the lights off," and he'd play in the complete dark of the fucking auditorium. True story. I've never, yes. I never got to see the man play, but my mm. buddy John, his cousin Rhonda, played bass for him for years. She was in the wow. new power generation. She's Did actually ever talked one... to her. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah like funny. she's one of the most respective bassists in the world. Um, and and she like literally doesn't pay for instruments or equipment anymore. Everybody just wants her to here. Here's a bass. Use it so you can promote my stuff. But uh, she said he was difficult to work with at times because he'd get frustrated if somebody you know if like eighteen people in 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 the band and he would just stop you over there playing guitar the third guitar you're you're out, your e strings out of tune like his ear was that good <laughs> james wow. brown was like that yeah. yeah oh yeah you could hear you, you like perfection he was a perfectionist and it's difficult when nobody in the room is as good as you are i so get you, that i i you know. i know i know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> i just watched a video today of mariah carey telling a backup singer while singing to stop singing her parts but she didn't lose the the like she actually sang it to her as she was singing the song, she turned and said, don't sing my part, and then kept singing. <laughs> and it was, if you weren't paying attention, you wouldn't have caught it. I actually, I think I shared it on my Facebook. If you follow me on Facebook, you'll see it there. I sent it, I know I sent it to my wife. Maybe she can share it for me, but yeah, I was, I was fucking dying. Like, and Mariah Carey, she's like, she's, she's cannon fodder anytime. Like after like right. November 25th, like she's like every mm -hmm. joke. So she becomes very popular in, in algorithms on social media. So these like little tidbits people upload <laughs> fucking blow my mind. She's such a diva, right? So, so good. Oh yeah. dude, she's an ultra diva. I used, I worked with Tony Young a number of times, Master T. Oh, yeah. did a few gigs. He, with interviewed, Master T. he mm -hmm. interviewed everybody. And I yeah. said, who was the person you interviewed that you got the strangest vibe from? And he said, Mariah. And I go, really? Why is that? He goes, she's a diva to the point where he says i'm sitting there interviewing her and she had a sweater draped over her shoulders and the one left side fell and she just turned and looked at her assistant like fix this assistant comes around over and just puts it right back he's like holy shit. yeah that kind of kind of turned wow. my my mind off on her wow yeah said that's loved, an oprah move yeah yeah, yeah. He said he loved Madonna, though. He said she was a great interview. And he said the biggest mistake he ever made was when he interviewed John Hyatt and he wasn't prepared. And he asked John Hyatt a question. John Hyatt just looked at him like, you're an idiot. So he said, he didn't say that to him. He just looked, he gave him that look like, what the hell, you're an idiot. And he realized, he says, uh, that was the only time I made the mistake. Anytime uh, I was going to interview anybody afterwards, I was well prepared. I'm like, cool I that happened that. to me That's once cool. do you remember who was the labor party leader in the uk that everyone all the conservatives used to call an anti-semite corbin jeremy Raj? corbin 
Jeremy Corbyn. Yeah. So I, I went in 2018. I've told this story before, but this isn't the story I'm telling. I, I scammed the Huffington Post and, and yes. uh, by pretending to work there still. And they sent me to, and, and I got sent to the UK by this tobacco company. Anyways, um, <clears throat> while I was there, uh, before I left, I got in touch with a guy that I knew uh, that worked at Sky News who got me in touch with Jeremy Corbyn's office. And I set up an interview with Jeremy Corbyn. And we were supposed to meet at a cafe. And I was like, I was kind of excited, but also not like, I don't know. I don't get excited, I guess, in the sense of where I'm like, oh my God, it's Jeremy Corbyn. But yeah, I yeah. wanted to make it a good interview. Of course. So I knew that he was getting trashed in the press right around that time about his Israel uh, opinions. Mm-hmm. And so I, I thought I, I was just going to get that question out of the way and give him a softball. Mm-hmm. And so I go like this. I'm like, does it ever become frustrating? Because I know that you probably feel like your views on Israel are mischaracterized. So is there, you know, is there, is there a way to set the record straight? Like, what are your thoughts on Israel? And he goes like this. Hmm. And he just leaves. <laughs> 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 just la- and I'm laughing and his assistant is at the table beside and she watches him go she's like holding on to like a oh, I don't oh, know fucking oh. clipboard or something and she watches him go and I look at her and I'm like she's like yeah he does that sometimes that happen a lot yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like okay like I, wasn't it a softball she's like you said the I word that's what she said uh, and yeah she left and I was like yeah okay mm. you know Courage of your convictions, I guess, right? Indeed. Okay. All right, yeah. fellas, uh, I am going to jump out. I'm going to go over to the pub, have a beer, say hello to a couple of people. And I think then, we should uh, phone Dean. I, yeah. I could call in from the pub, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Only if you're sitting with one of those beautiful women that can't keep their hands off you, okay? I'll see what I can do about that. Okay. You let them right, know guys. that James only wants beautiful girls. All right. Thanks Fair for right. <laughs> Merry Christmas, guys. <laughs> Take care, Polly. Are you staying? I, uh, are you staying? I, oh, okay, good. Stay. All yeah, right, yeah, good. Stay. You guys want to call? You want to? You want to give Blundell a call and see why he uh, he just popped in and popped out? Well, I guess so. Unless it turns into one of these things where he's just like, yeah, I'm not going to do it. And then it's uh, you know, I just want to state for the record that I'm indifferent, Dean, to whether you do it or not. And and you can you can jump in. I always had this idea that Dean after eight o'clock is like. I'm not going to say fuck you, but fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see what happens. Do you know what I mean? I could totally see that. Hey, hey <laughs> you're, on, you're on the air. Is that okay? Well, fuck. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, you popped in and then you left. We were trying to bring you in. This was boring. We've got live music. We've got Douglas from the Eager Beaver here now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it looked boring, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's one of those nights where you're like, hey, I can't hear you very well, but, not, you know, I'll do my best. Where I'm like, the boys are having fun. They don't need me. I you're right, in, we don't need you. you having fun. But we want yeah. you. Yeah, yeah thought, we want you. Again, eh, they don't need me. So keep her going, mm-hmm. lads. Well, but it was good to see me. you. It's about what, my friend? I'm, gonna not, I'm not taking this personally, I swear. I said it's not about need; it's about want. We want your company. Oh. All right, all right. I'll pop in for a second. <laughs> oh, don't right, do us we'll any see. favors, Dean. Okay. <laughs> he just hangs up like a cock. What a dick. Do you ever do this thing with Dean where it's like, I want to be the first to hang up? <laughs> <laughs> He's the quickest yeah. hanger upper I ever met in my entire life. He really so now is. I'm just like this. All right, buddy. I'll see you later. And as soon as he says bye, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> you know who saved that? Do you know the only reason why he's coming is because Douglas is here? Because Douglas know. is the only adult in the room. That's why you know he's coming. <laughs> you know what? As soon as Dean gets her, I'm doing this. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Uh, oh, don't make me the grown up again. <laughs> oh, well, don't worry yeah. about that. You're the only <laughs> one. That, you're the here. only one with any credibility on this podcast tonight, Douglas. So you need. What to, about David? Oh, well, uh, he he's he's our he's our musical interlude. Like he's he's great. He, Dave, like were you a... freestyling that song earlier? No, no, no. That's a song. That's an actual song. Song. Oh, okay. Yeah. It, it, it just seemed autobiographical. That's why. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> <laughs> it did. What? 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 Did you fart? <laughs> really? <laughs> Somebody farted? No. 
I think I went too far with David. I think I think. Oh, I thought you said you know. I thought you said fart. I didn't know you said. Oh, autobiographical. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. You did go too far. Welcome to the party. <laughs> <laughs> that has gone too far. Um, so, uh, I, I just want to message something, um, just because, uh, David, you're the only person that may or, actually maybe I shouldn't do this. We have a mutual friend whose father just passed away. I'm not going to say their name, but um, uh, just uh, I just a shout out, just to put it into the ether that I'm thinking about that person. Okay, and, that, and that'll be it. Do you know who I'm talking about, Dave? Wow, no, that's you something know? for a podcast. Good for well, you. Well, I, I, I guess I just maybe you could have done that on the phone after the show. That would have been uh, well, I don't know, more just... appropriate. <laughs> you know, okay, sorry. <laughs> Anyways. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, DPRA? Seriously, <laughs> like, seriously, I mean, you just put that in the it? chat. Like, holy shit! Like, hey, Dave, don't react to this. I'm just gonna put this in privately so that you can read this, and um, hopefully, you don't uh, maintain character. Don't maintain. give a shit. Uh, no, we for the. Okay. I'm not gonna say it, but for the folks at home, James just put something in the the private chat between the people, the participants on the show, <laughs> that is literally some. <laughs> I don't even know what to do right now. <laughs> there was an announcement that probably should have been taken off the air, but now now Dave knows, and uh, in, I'm sure in, all the songs for the rest of the night are going to be very sad. In my defense, I'm very high. <laughs> Jesus Christ, James. That's your defense? Yeah. Yes, it is. My, it's a pretty good defense. <laughs> oh, my shit. I'm going to eat more edibles. Yeah, yeah you should. Good defense idea. by me. I've got yeah, a video. I, I've, I've queued that video up. This is, and this is kind of why I was hoping Dean would show up. And it's this in the video that I just, uh, I just loaded in. I want him to see this because this is something we would have normally played on our uh, on our show, like during the day, right? Oh, there he mm -hmm. is. See, he's right there. Oh, there now. Go. Look how interested he is in everything. Look. <laughs> Hi, Dean. Hi, Dad. Hey, where did we get the cowboy? Where did we get the cowboy from? I got Toronto. him from grade two, and I haven't let go. Oh, your best friend? Is that your best friend yeah. from grade two? That's one of my best friends. Yep. David, yeah. David, that's Dean. Hi, Dean. Nice to meet you. Hi, David. Nice to meet you. What are we doing? Are we doing like a campfire sing song? I got to tell you right now, I haven't even showered. How high, how high are you? Six like scale. Six out of ten. Okay, I got something for you, and it's because we didn't do a show today, and this would have been something that we would have done on the show. Yeah, and I would have sent it to you, and you would have been like, "Holy fuck, we are talking about this all day." Can I just say that I'm really impressed, Ryan, that I get the leftovers from Longshanks' table? But go ahead. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to show you this. I don't know if you've seen it yet, but this is kind of making the rounds, and I, I cut it down. Um, but I'd I'd like your take on it. Are you ready? Something. So this fella is somebody we all know. We've seen him at every football game, right? Yeah, yeah. That belly hanging out. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's okay. A hot look. Yeah. okay, so so he's just getting warmed up, and he's telling he's telling everybody around him what a what a piece of shit he is because he's he's, he's three sheets to the wind. Is that a Bears logo? Like ten bells wasted. He's wearing. A, he's actually wearing a Green Bay Packers sweater and a, a Green Bears Bay Packers scarf. hat and a Bears scarf. So he's now he's moved off. He's gone visiting other people. That guy knocks his hat down. That's uh, sad. yeah. Just wait. Just just wait. It, it's about to get way way better. Um, does he die like Maude Flanders does? Almost. Where is, oh, where is this? Do we know? Uh, I couldn't get. I looked and looked, and I could not get it. It looks like a Bears game. Um, yeah, it, it just. I cannot. Uh, I wasn't able to actually get like confirmation on exactly where it was. But he's he's literally just accosting everybody in the section that he's in, and he's got to be about four hundred pounds. Like this is what I used to look like. How many like, sections Mexico, is he in right now? Yeah, he's in four sections in one at one time. Look at his guts hanging I bet you, out. I bet you this guy's underwear smells weird. Yeah, and I, 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 so now it's getting you know this. He makes friends with the the, the Dolphins fan here uh, in the Dolphins jersey. And he's got and, an Eagles hat and he's got a Packers shirt. Now oh, oh, sorry, Dolphins. Eagles. Yeah, Eagles, Packers, and Bears. He's he's a he's a equal opportunity football fan, and now the so he's making friends. He's shaking hands. Everything's good, and then and then it's not good. It went from from zero to fuck immediately. 
is Connor gonna knock him the fuck out? Well, it's about to get it's about to get good. It's about to get very interesting. He this looks guy like has... the guy that won. He looks like fat ass from Stand By Me that won the pie eating contest. Yeah. I got so this... as a, as a he's gonna throw up, right? Wait, no, no, no. There's no there's no vomit. Here comes the tit flicks. He's flicking his tits, oh. <laughs> right? Just flicking his tits, pissing him off. So now, here comes another hat pull <laughs> from the guys from up top. They pulled his yeah. hat again as they walked by. Here comes here comes the gold. This is the money shot. And not only does does this guy start taking him down, um, as you can see, his underwear hanging out of the back of his ass. So oh, yeah. this guy takes the opportunity to not only throw him, but also embarrass him by throwing his underwear off. Oh, oh, he oh, he's, he's Just wait, we have another angle. We have another angle. That's a lot. That's a lot of momentum there. Yeah, we have another angle. I bet you we got a lot of asshole there, didn't we? Yeah. Dude, that guy rolled well, so well see done it. that staircase that Indiana Jones dodged to get out of the way. <laughs> I was just thinking that. <laughs> You're about to see the other angle here. Um, here you go. Oh, that's what it looked like coming the other way. Indy, what is that? <laughs> what is happening? What is happening? Wow. <laughs> I feel so, so much better about myself right now. I do you, really do. Like, I it's funny. That. I was so I was so happy that we didn't do a show today. Just it was like it was nice to have that day off. And then I saw this, and I went, "Why the fuck didn't we do a show today?" Because we built <laughs> a whole show around just this. that clip. You know? <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Douglas is getting a refill. No, he's no, giving he's away, giving his away wine. wine. Look how he's oh measuring my it. God, he's like just that much. That's all you get. Oh, I you want it. some more, do you? Holy <laughs> sacrament. That's medicinal red. It's got to be medicinal red, eh, Douglas? Yeah. Medicinal red. Yeah. Medicinal rouge. I think you're muted. Sorry, medicinal red. Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, it's medicinal red. rouge. Yeah, for sure. Now go back to your hole, whoever that was. Guys, what the, what's the point? What the point of this podcast is? Just to fill me in. It, it's called Casual Friday, and the point of it is that there really is no point. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's so no uh, video really fit in today. Is, it really yeah. did. Okay. It did. Yeah. Dean, yeah, you that, can go if you don't want to stay. What? Like this, this isn't no. a nece necessity, man. Like it's <laughs> nice to have you, but if you're gonna look bored, you might as well just go. I don't want to keep thought you. We'd, yeah. yeah, I thought we'd say happy, happy Christmas, and you know, uh, it's have a nice, nice little is chat. Everybody drinking here. Is is that what we're doing? Is Douglas has got some some red and. Uh, I think it's just two out of th two out of the five of us right now. You got a Red Bull. Ryan's got. What are you drinking? What do you got? Everything. You got a rye. I'm double. I've got a eggnog and I've got a rye. It's yeah. It's a fucking mess. David, what are we drinking over there? I'm not drinking. I don't David, why don't you get a drink, buddy? I got a lot of stuff to do in the morning. That's right. Yeah. So do I. Yeah. Get it. Get the Be fuck out of here. Can you grow kidding? up. Like, <laughs> <for> fuck's sakes. <laughs> uh, I felt, the minute I said that, I felt immediately regretted it. <laughs> <laughs> immediately <laughs> regretted that. Did you know, I don't know, Ryan, if you knew this, but last week, um, you know what got me tired? And I don't mean this in a bad way at all uh, towards these people, but Jimmy P and Army Chris are the reason why I got really tired. <laughs> that? Trying, to, trying to keep up with them? It was because I could tell that they were drunk. And there was one point, and this is really what deflated me. I, was, I can't remember what I was saying. I haven't watched the replay, but I was like, yeah. the story was this long. And I was this far. <laughs> And I was about to get to the thing that would have made everyone either laugh or say, oh, fuck, it's crazy. And as soon as I was about to get there, all I hear is Army Chris go, remember that time that we were? And I was just like. <laughs> That's what happens. <laughs> you should have heard the, the show on cruise this morning because Army Chris was at the studio. And every time it was the same thing. Anytime somebody tries to land a punchline, Army Chris is there to step all over it. <laughs> which drives, yeah, which drives a guy like lock nuts, right? So. Because <laughs> I was like this, and as soon as he did that, my whole like energy level just went like this, and I was like, I just want to go to bed. And I he did. He abandoned Dean. He abandoned his own show last week, and I had to finish it off. That's right. <laughs> oh, that was last yeah. casual Friday. That, that's yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. But no, I kept okay, on that's... kicking. I kept on kicking Army Chris and Jimmy out, and no, and they were like, "What's going? I can't. I think something's wrong with my computer." And I'm like. Eh, eh. Yeah, remove source, remove source. <laughs> it was, and then I just it was gave nameless. up and then went to bed. 
that thing that army chris does to you paul that does that to me sometimes on the show i'm like i'm like weaving this whole narrative and i'm getting right to the point and goes i'm just gonna put this up right here <laughs> like, it's just like this is a some, some some guy with a bong no, or something no one, no one kills a vibe like lachlan you guys are fucking lightweights so he is like the best and you know what it is it's because he's not listening at all ever <laughs> Like, so like you just, there was two you, people you know, on one like, dildo asking someone a question like i'm asking a question and then i'm like okay a- answer this part and the guy's like okay and then the second part and lachlan's like yeah can i come in on in here whatever and happened like, to streaking now now all i do is i just step all over and when he puts his hand up i'm like no i'm going somewhere with this you can't do it because he'd yeah. be like we could be in the middle of talking about like how to free tibet and it'd be like Remember that aussie record so that is not a representation <laughs> of of alberta like there was two people on one dildo. Whatever happened to streaking? <laughs> That's what yeah. happens. Every I was time. watching you guys once, and Dean, it was like the harmonica part comes in, and you're like, "Welcome to the show. We got a great show." Listen, something yeah. big happened, and all of a sudden, Lockin's like, "Can I just say something about oh, yeah. or Dude, something?" And I was just like, "The killer. intro." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously, he's you know what he is. He's like that. He's like that. Uh, he's like when you wipe your ass and you and you're and you're. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get blamed for this. Fine. I love him to death for it too, though. It's like fuck, it makes me laugh all the time. It's like when you when you wipe your ass and you just like you're like, where does this keep coming from? <laughs> Seriously, like where does this? Where am I? Am I just leaking? Like, am I open? Am I just open? It's a peanut butter load. It yeah. just keeps. Yeah, it's like trying to wipe peanut butter off yeah, of the counter. Coming, where is this coming from? Where is this coming from? <laughs> <laughs> That's him. But no, I, I love him to death. He's, He's the best. Yeah. He is the best. Yeah, I like because him he a doesn't lot. give a shit, right? Like that's that's a very specific like thing for anybody to do, which is going to be my thing in twenty. 20- thinking about it today, twenty twenty three is going to be really not caring about things that are worthless. Like truly worthless, weighing it all the time, like thinking about it all the time. That's all I think about now. So I'm like, fuck it. This is the year. This is the year I truly will not give a fuck about anything anybody says. Like, Good for you. That's my goal. That's so no goal, guests. Boys. <laughs> yeah, no guests. It's gone it's from no show. politics to no guests. That's right. <laughs> yeah, and still no no politicians in 2023 either. That's my new goal. Yeah, none, zero. Can't stand it. Must no go Saturdays for freedom. <laughs> if they call you, just send them my way, buddy. I'll take them off your hands. Uh, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, we'll pawn all the politicians off on Douglas. Like that's mm-hmm. that's what what you're here for, Douglas. You're you're like the safety net. Yeah, it's great. That, well, that, that, I that, 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 I've been doing the overseas ones. Sorry, go ahead, Douglas. My bad. Oh yeah, well yeah, you get people from Yeah, no, James there. James interviews the Nazis and Douglas will interview the Canadian politicians. It'd be great. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought that's why you brought me. <laughs> oh, no, we don't want to take these calls anymore. <laughs> and that guy. <laughs> Give it to Mikey, is. he'll eat anything. <laughs> <laughs> I just had a hippopotamus for lunch. You guys know. <laughs> no, I uh that's not how I work. I uh I I but it is probably one of the outcomes yes <laughs> <laughs> but i don't have that i'm heartbroken do you see no. i'm heartbroken i hate it absolutely hate it no 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 i you're, you're you do you call me the least you're the least of the issues uh in this frame <laughs> that i'm looking at um, <laughs> hard left it is hard true left. yeah yeah <laughs> hard left <laughs> my hard left well, thanks for thanks for coming on. Oh, there you oh, go. Oh, look at this. Oh, hi. <laughs> promise made, promise cap. Hello, hello. Hi. How are you? How are you? Hi. I don't know if it's too noisy for us or not, but we thought we'd pop in and say hello. Paul, is this how you pick up chicks now? Do you go down no. to the bar and go, hey, you want to come yeah, on a fucking podcast? You want to come check podcast. out my sleigh? Come check out my sleigh, baby. <laughs> Hi, oh, I recognize you. James uh, McGorry's uh, black called uh, Casual Friday. Oh, nice. I love it. Yeah, well, yeah. Thank you. You should. I'll check it out. On Saturday. Take care, right. Polly. Nice to see you. Bye. Bye. And hear, hear <laughs> a word he's saying. I yeah, said beautiful we girl. Podcast, I met her. Apparently, pa, Paul tells me she's like wicked smart, and she's got actually one of these raspy voices that would be perfect for singing blues when really? she speaks. It's perfect. Uh, like this, but apparently, she doesn't sing. 
I'm already phoning the Ottawa police to try and uh, get a car over there just to make sure she's okay. So, <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's a gentleman. <laughs> you guys are the nicest narcissists, though, ever. Like, both of you. Like, you really are. Dean, <laughs> and, 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 like, it is the last time uh, Paul was on last Friday, he's like, you know, well, every, as everyone knows, I'm paraphrasing, but he's like, as everyone knows, um, whenever I enter the uh, bar area of a bar, I have to wait for my penis to catch up. And, um, you know, and he's always like, but it's so casual, right? And, and he's like, you know, I I can't help it. Beautiful women just talk to me. I, what, what am I supposed to do? Lie to you and say beautiful women don't always approach me in bars? I'm just like, that's not humility, I don't think. <laughs> oh, no, he's got, but that's the thing is that he says that stuff, but he also like does, he, he'll denigrate himself. Like he, he, he doesn't like, yeah, I don't think he has an ego. I really don't. No, I know, I know, but it's it's, and also he's telling the truth, right? Yeah, he's, telling the truth. he's got so. a huge wiener. <laughs> so, so based on so the we've pictures, heard. yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's it. Like, who do who? Of, has he sent you pictures of his wiener, Douglas? There's one picture he, he that it was. It's an artistic nude. He's that's, in an that, artistic that he nude. Can't say that anymore. Yes. So that's. That's fucking awesome. Good for him. So yes, he, I've he not shown him mine take yet. A, take a picture of his naked. <laughs> of her naked? Like he was a model for it. Yep, he was a model for it. Yeah. Does the for beard himself? cover the penis? Oh, no. How does that happen? <laughs> See, I want the details for him. Yeah, we need to hear this. He like, okay, because here's the question: Was okay. he like, okay? I need a picture of this hog for posterity because no yeah. one's going to believe it. And my whole face has got to be in it because it's so awesome. If or, you ask me, I assume that that is the case, but that was a secondary benefit. It actually, I believe it actually was for an art class. Now we're getting to it. This is the <laughs> yeah. kind of podcast I wanted to be on tonight, boys. Thank you, Dean. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thank you, Dean. This is why we brought the pro. Yep. But- <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Were Paul Ackett's intestines Dean Blundell approved, and I'll take it. Yeah. You know, I haven't been able to show him mine yet because I actually don't. I'm actually one of probably one of the few men on the planet who is like under fifty who does not actually have a picture of it anywhere. Of yours? No. What, why would you take a picture of it? What's the, unless you're like unless you're looking at something on WebMD and you're like I gotta take a picture of this. No, 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 even when I was online yeah. dating, unless you're sending it to your doctor. Like, why the fuck would you take a picture of your dick? Like, I sorry. would just like to answer that by saying no comment. <laughs> what's what's um yeah? Well, let's I've always this part, right on, online online dating, right? Mm-hmm. Particular in my subculture. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, we're kind of dick focused, right? So, I mean, <laughs> well, it's true. Well, that's the point. Right? That's <laughs> so, the but point. but even on online okay. dating, it's all the time. You know, it's like, yeah, what's up? What's up? Yeah, like this, you know, dick pic, and it's like, sorry, I don't have one. It's like everybody has <laughs> one. It's like, no, I actually don't because you can't control where they end up. So, no, is that there really doesn't even one on, in existence? Is that common on gay dating apps? Oh yeah, it's pretty common. Some Why wouldn't just put it right up there, up, right up front? Why oh, wouldn't you, you just take? Street? Yeah, we take one that looks like like a reasonable facsimile and and distribute that, just so oh, you can like stay in the game. Like, that, my that favorite thing is, is something is, like this. My favorite thing is to do the joke thing. Like um, one time, a girl's like, "Can you send me a picture of your dick?" And I just sent her a picture of Jason Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> I always use Richard Nixon. Yeah, I used to do that with friends like that. this. He'd send me a picture of Dick Van Dyke, and I'd send a picture of Richard Nixon. What are you guys doing trading dick pics? <laughs> Or you get, like that, a, you get like a Barbie arm and you put it next to it and you take a picture and you're like, it's that thing. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like this baby doll's arm. It's like a baby's arm like, holding an a apple. Mannequin. That that's a mannequin <laughs> arm. <laughs> that's a full-size mannequin hand. <laughs> Did you guys see that picture of Trump where they show his crotch when he's sitting down and there's literally just sag of a roll hanging down and like touching the ground between his thighs where you can't see his penis anymore and like literally touches the chair this mound of flab no. yeah anyways i just thought I'd like a gun he's got right his now. own gun yeah like, he like, does and but his flab. gun has rolled like it looks like he's been lipoed and all that extra skin is just you know, that's hanging. like the that's the least fucking like you, you know the video you showed before as yeah. a former like pretty fat guy that's that was me that's <laughs> what i looked like in mexico 
Yeah. Well, like I'm serious. Okay, let's talk body types here. Yeah. You know, if you're that size, you got two moves, right? Like one of two moves. Either you pull it over the belly and you fucking cinch it up and you pray to God that that belt doesn't come down and you fucking live uncomfortable. I never got that far. Uh, or you let it ride underneath this gut and you got to go find a fucking shirt that can take all that length and all the shit that comes with it, right? Those are so, the two. Yeah. So those, those are the two. two moves. You only got two moves. And yep. if you have to pick. I think I'm still going with the belly over the belt. I don't think I'm going with the belt over the belly. And that's no like that's no disrespect to the fat guy move. See, um, see I used I used to do the I used to do the uh, like back before I like when I before I was the the 600 pound guy. Yeah. I loved tucking my shirts in. Mm -hmm. Like I always had tucked in shirts, right? Like I always had like it was fitted well, looked good. Then I realized that that's not working out very well anymore. The shirts mm -hmm. come out and I always kept the, 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 the pants over the gut just to try and, and restrain it, I guess, even a little bit. Keep it. Yeah. Just to make sure you're not knocking stuff off the shelf. At yep. yeah. 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 You don't want, yeah. You don't want to walk into a, a, a big bear and be the big bear that knocks the fucking chips over while you're buying three hey, you bags of chips. Laugh, but you guys laugh, but I've been that fat. So we're laughing. You were, yeah, you were over right. three bills, weren't you, Dean? Yeah, three twenty. Yeah. yeah, you were three. You were over three bills at one point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's He's a big boy, twice, though. My, that's twice my weight right now. Is three twenty. Wow. Well, now yeah. I'm two twenty. You're one hundred and ten pounds. One sixty. Okay. I'm oh, sorry. You're like, I you're like you a said three twenty, didn't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. You were twice me. Well, you're one. Yeah, and you're one sixty now. Yeah, I was two hundred five like, at my heaviest. Oh, we're awesome too. Yeah. yeah, being super fat was like it, it really stinks. I have a question Especially about the super fat. Huh? I, I have a question about the super fat thing. When you're receiving a blowjob, uh -huh. do you have to hold it up, and do you have to kind of find a way to peek over so you can see? Like, how does that work? Um, well, uh, when you're that big, you're not getting a whole lot of blowjobs, so it's not really a concern. Um. Do you have but, contusions uh, on your belly button area because of the forehead? <laughs> hey, um, watch how you go right to that. that you're, I'm you're interested the most man in Canada. Not really a mystery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, have you ever thought about electro like shock therapy? Shock therapy. Yeah. No. I have a friend. I, that I would kill that. the machine, and Dean. Stuff and then shock <laughs> the out of you just to see if you can get you back to a baseline. Never thought I'd probably that. get him to turn it up and be like, this is doing nothing. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Yeah, he's done so many drugs, Dean, that I don't think the electricity would really – like, he would literally be the guy that's just sitting there looking at them as they're looking at the – is this broken? They're pushing the button. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Can I put it to my nipples? <laughs> just don't cross them. Yeah. <laughs> guys, but I yeah, had no. booster cables on that shit last week. I don't know what the fuck you guys are doing. <laughs> Yeah, no, there was never there was never a problem with uh, with with having to uh, the logistics of a blowjob when you were six hundred pounds because not a lot of people were lining up to suck your dick. So um, again, back to the smell. Remember when I said I bet you that uh, guy's underwear smells? Like I bet you dude, it's the smell. Yeah, yeah, dude. When you were si smells like I'll be honest, vinegar chips and like poison. Yeah, yeah. I'll be honest. When when you're six hundred pounds, skin. you could be fresh out of the shower and you'd be like, still, why still, still? still? Yeah. why still? still? Yeah, you know, and you could you could scrub that thing. Only eating with a fucking toilet brush. Douglas yeah. is like, come on, no, no, yeah, no, 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 not come on. Like, wow, D no, Douglas is just scratching off fat guys. If he ever does become <clears throat> single again, um, he's just never gonna, oh. never gonna go down that road. <laughs> no. I'm doing you a public service. Don't you owe me? No, yeah, oh, Ryan, you would have been popular in the gay community because they love bears, right? Like, there's a bear fetish in the bear. Like, you would have just been like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I had so, a, uh, I, I, I had my. Uh, believe me, if if I was if I was totally down with that, um, I had my fair share of people that would have sucked my, um, my my dick at 600 pounds. That if I didn't care about the the gear that they were packing, <laughs> I now regret bringing up blowjobs. Yeah, yeah, you did this. <laughs> this is your show. It's not a very fucking casual Friday anymore. Okay. <laughs> casual? I mean, you can't say this shit at work, right? Yeah. Well, we can. I'm at work. Yeah, yeah this is a different kind <laughs> of work. Here we are. Is this sexual harassment? 
Uh, <laughs> can I file a human rights complaint? <laughs> Douglas can. Douglas can. Douglas can. <laughs> Douglas can now. Like you know what I mean? Like he's yeah. the he's the no, most. Not gonna happen. Not gonna he's happen. got the upper hand on this entire conversation. Now we're all kind of. Just hanging out, waiting for the complaint. <laughs> Dean's, going, there. Like, like, Dean's like, fuck this, I'm out of here. <laughs> go. This is my stop. <laughs> Thanks to Dean Lundell for stopping by. That was great. I'm so glad he was able to come. Merry Christmas, Dean, I'm sure. Uh, Merry Christmas, Dean. Sorry. Sure we'll talk, talk to you beforehand. <laughs> I love it. I, I, love it. I, I got him to come here. I got him to come in by saying we want you, and I got him to leave by saying sexual harassment. <laughs> With a, you know what it is? It's sexual harassment with a gay person on the panel. Yeah. Dean just, you know what? Right now, he's, Slopinski he's, is putting together the meme of all memes. Say, you know? he's, like, he's danced this dance already. He I doesn't want to go back to that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Open, open mouth, insert foot. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's, no, it's all good. <laughs> he was looking for an right out. Now. You gave it to him. Are you yeah. kidding? He'll thank you for the out. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. I don't mean I out. Think... Out. Uh, sorry, I, I, I don't know why. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not kidding, and I hate my white male self. <laughs> Give me a couple of bars of that Diana Ross song there, David. <laughs> I'm coming out. Uh, hold on one second, David. There you go. I had nothing to say <laughs> on Christmas Day. Thank you. <laughs> Were you feeling we excluded from that conversation? <laughs> yeah, sorry, Dave. We didn't let a word in edgewise. We have everything. There was too many dicks flying. It was. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I think he was like borrowing the page from Mark Twain, right? Better to say nothing, be thought a fool than nothing to prove, it's true. Remove all doubt. <laughs> remove all doubt. <laughs> He's very smart. They're screwing up, though. They're screwing up enough on their own. I'm just going to say it's not. Here. It's, it's not very it's not very often that you find the guy in the cowboy hat that makes that smart decision. Isn't that weird? Yeah. That's right. <laughs> He's not drinking. That's true. Okay. I, on the other hand. <laughs> I better yeah. I better do something quickly here because otherwise it's ten thirty four. We've been uh, on for I, an hour and a half. My wife but, was supposed to come in. I don't know where she no, went. No, no, we're not wrapping up. We're not wrapping up, but we are gonna wrap up this. Okay. Oh my goodness. So this yes. is I Costa made this. Dacosta is so dope. And I, I have this, this. But the process that I have with Dacosta is like this. Well, I wish Dacosta would make a graphic, but how do I ask him? <laughs> so I send him the thing and I'm like, I send him the track and I'm like, is the graphic y part of your brain feeling whizzy right now? Because <laughs> 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 I don't know. Because then, and then I'm like, I don't like asking people to do shit for free. And, and, and he doesn't say this, but he's really saying this. James, it's fine. It takes like literally 10 seconds to do this shit. Like, mm -hmm. like you, you know how people are like really good at something? Like this would take me like four days to figure out how to do this. I could do it, but it would take like four days. And I'd just be like, well, I want it to stay where I want it to stay. Like I, I don't know how to put two pictures into one picture. You know, I'm that yeah. guy. I get so frustrated that I would immediately forget how I did it. <laughs> so the next time I wouldn't be able to do it again. Um, but DaCosta uh, was nice enough to make that. Um, uh, Miss Lindley, are you just the voice again? Oh, no, she's got the, uh, the, she's having some audio issues, I think. Pull her out for a sec. Um, I am. I'm having technical difficulties. I'll be you up there in a sec. I'll come out. Sound good you. now. You sound yeah. great now, actually. Holy shit. Can you say something else? Sorry. The door sorry. is ajar. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can you tell me my Amazon package is here? That's hot. Yeah. Can you tell me the, how big that package is on the porch? <laughs> it belongs to Ryan. It's still outside. <laughs> She's gone. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Way to go, be... guys. You scared my wife. <laughs> sorry. I'm going to jump um, up there and go see what's wrong, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay. Right. I'm going to find uh, that video. And I'm going to um, I'm going to play eventually that track. Is that the one that, uh, the rap song that you did. It's the uh, Tom Green diss track that I wrote and oh okay <laughs> did today for some reason. I, I, listened know why to, I, I listened to the track that you just uploaded. Oh, did I you? Really Which one was that? Uh, gee, what's the name of it? Um, hold on, I'll find it for you. Uh, what's the song called that I'm doing now? What is it called? Check the Black Ball. <laughs> Stupidest name ever. Uh Jamesy, what are you doing? All right. Um, yeah. So I, I so the Tom Green thing. So just to rehash, rehash here for a second. 
Um, and I chose the picture of Tom Green from like 1994 <laughs> for some reason. Okay. So I look like his dad. Um, but I've been trying to get Tom Green on the show. Um, and I've been doing it in a way that, you know, it it's it is sort of beneath what I should be. But um, but for some reason, I'm making an exception with Tom Green, where I am literally Douglas, like pestering him. You to have come no on the pride podcast. Nor shame. Right. So so like he'll post something and it'll be like, I can't believe I missed this. And it was some event or something like that. And I'm like, you know what else you missed? Dot 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 coming out to my black ball podcast. And then and then I'm like in brackets, call me, you know, whatever. And uh and so I do shit like that all the time. And it it hasn't worked. Um and David needs to walk the dog. It hasn't worked. And so then I uh <laughs> so then I just decided that because Tom Green was a rapper, right? Right. He Check started off are. as a rapper. Check the oh, oh you like it so far. Oh, like oh. he was that guy. Yeah. And and I remember listening to that song when I was young. You know, not really liking it, but there was always a competitive streak between white rappers in, in Canada, yeah. anyways. Like, I don't know about anywhere else, where it was like if you were a rapper and you were white and it was post vanilla ice, but pre Eminem. So you're right. looking at like 1990 to like 1998 for those in the know. Mm-hmm. It's like that eight years was like a stretch where it was like, oh, you're, you're hold, hold on one second. You're a white rapper. Oh, hey guys, vanilla ice is here. Like that was basically, yeah. you know, yeah. what you had to deal with. And, um, you know, so I was a little uh, critical of Tom Green. But anyways, so I have this weird thing where now I'm like, instead of extending and forever tweeting at him and, and trying to get him on the show, I was like, well, why don't I do something that will either, that will just finalize it. He will either come on the show because of this, or he'll be like, fuck that guy. I'm never coming on his show. And I know it's going to be one or the other, right? <clears throat> what did you do? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. <laughs> I, um, I wrote a diss song, a diss track to him. Um, diss- hold on. Oh hey! Oh look at this! Oh hey! Hey! hey, hey. Hi! 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 How you doing, Hi, Ashley? Hi. How, how you doing? How so you doing? nice What's going to see you. On? I'm glad you waited till we were ready. Yeah. Yeah. Well, was something else going to happen? Do you guys need a moment, and then I'll come Sitting back. Sitting really here quickly? with like icing and like. <laughs> Hi. 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 It's nice to see you. I like your headband thing. You Me look too. like you're. You just did the laundry outside. You know, like. Um, I'm I'm icing and baking cookies and things. That's awesome. Well done. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's Are you okay? I look sweary to keep the hair out of your eyes. Right? Um, yeah, right. no, I'm, I'm dandy. How are you guys doing? We are well. I think we're well. Douglas? We are very well. You're looking well. Thank you very much. Am I looking well? Yeah, as always, yes. <laughs> you don't change much. It's true. It's true. My hair never changes. I just have a beard that just does one thing, which is stays the way it is. You should I, get a Santa hat. It's too hot. I'm such a fucking, I, I, I'm such a suck. Like, I, I don't like, I run hot. I'm that guy that like will open the window in the winter. And my favorite temperature to sleep at is so cold that you need your own body heat to get you warm under the blanket and your nose is cold. That's the perfect temperature to sleep in as far mm-hmm. as I'm concerned. And so if I wear a Santa hat right now, within like 36 seconds, I'll just be sweating. My head will just be sweating. You know, it will like, like like Andy Lee's kneecap in Russia. Mm. Mm. I don't know what that means. Oh. <laughs> I have Ew. No idea what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Right. Yeah. right? Right. <laughs> See, I, I got uncomfortable, so I laughed. <laughs> you just like just straight out ew, and I'm like, oh, I can see the visual. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a kneecap. Like it's, it's not even that bad. Okay, so I was on not, the Tom Green thing. Sweat is like. <laughs> Um, the last time I played a track on this show that was mine, I just got right. up and left and went for a smoke. And I think I'm just going to do that again because oh, it yeah? is really because it's just weird just sitting there. Because if I start doing this, then I just look like the douchebag that's just vibing to his track. But if I just do this, then it's like I don't even like the track. Do you know what I mean? What's wrong so, with vibing to your track? You, you should it. get um, you should get like little signs that say things and like hold them up throughout the song, like you know. <laughs> kind of like do like a little presentation yeah just, just i don't think i'm going to be doing that um but what <laughs> i am going to do what i'm going to do right now <laughs> is 
is I'm going to take myself out and put my track in, and then Ryan can come in and do whatever he wants to do. Okay. So this I'll is my this diss track. You. This is my diss. Fuck. <laughs> If you can't twerk, don't do nothing. All right. Honey? I cannot twerk. <laughs> you're white. Right. Of course right, you can't fine. twerk. No white person can twerk. There you go. Douglas, I'm, I'm not <laughs> pretty sure you're, you're, there's other things, but whiteness in you, you can probably twerk. I joked with Chris um, when he, uh, when he first, when his son was first born and he brought him home, he, he we're texting each other and he's like, yeah, I just uh, put uh, my son in a sling and went down and saw my wife and started twerking. And I was like, Okay, that's the weirdest thing anyone's ever said. Also, why were you twerking? You know his neck is not like durable like that. Like you're gonna snap. And then I was like, oh wait, you're white. There's no way he would have snapped his child's neck. You can only twerk with a child if you're white, because like with a baby, because yeah, you're safe. You're never gonna whiplash that baby's neck because mm -hmm. white people only move stiff. Yeah, there's, there's like not this. enough soul. <laughs> yeah, we were like C3PO. You know, that's how we. That's how we do it. Like everything, a everything's gonna be fine because we're just walking around like that. Because even our dances, it's all elbow, it's no hips. Whatever, whatever non-white people do with their hips, we just do that with our elbows. Word. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking dying watching. I've been watching for the last like three minutes. <laughs> so, it's so true. Okay. Well, I'm gonna white person dance, so get this shit rolling. I can't. I can't dance. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave now. Ryan, can you just press play? And while I'm gone, I'll just come back eerily. I, I right at the time where the track is over. <laughs> this is like my favorite. The James can't sit here and watch himself. Mm -hmm. I can't. Favorite. It just feels weird. I, whatever. I don't want talking about. It feels weirder. I'll see you in a bit. All right. So anyway, James. Uh, James has been been on a on a tear this uh, past week, trying to get a hold of Tom Green, and uh, he's he. he he knows Tom, Tom, Tom knows James as well. And, um, he called me today and he's, he put a, a blog post out this week as well. You can catch it on Dean um, about trying to find Tom to come back on the show and do an actual proper interview through blackballed with him. And obviously to no, uh, to no response at this point, uh, Tom green is horrible on social media when it comes to he doesn't reply to anybody, right? So it's like you got to catch him somewhere. So instead of taking the diplomatic route, as people normally would, James has decided to make it this track. And he's going to uh, try and get his attention this way. So we're going to play it now. Here's James D. Fiore. And check the black bald for Tom Green. I don't know why it's not playing. It does look really good. That's definitely it does. this track. I like it. Uh, I, 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 I don't know where his. Uh... Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. It was just delayed. Okay. James DeFiore, check the black bald for Tom Green. Tom Green, well I have, ever since the age of 14, when he came on the scene, laid more chicks than Mother Goose, that was classic, but I dropped more shit than a chicken troop bastard, listen, enough with the dissing, I've been on a missing, now it's like a fishing expedition, Michael, I need to tell you something, seriously, it's from the heart now son, you feel me, you've been thinking like Freddy man, I'm lingering steady, dedicating all the singers and I figure I'm ready because I'm bigger, but it's time to pull the trigger already, instead of betting on the pedestal I built for you Betty, bring your rhyme book in case I need confetti, why you post that shit like flat earths and yetis, First things I get it, I'm still in a rush. Christmas is coming, you funny Canuck fuck. Never had cancer in my testicle butt. I never seen men whenever I bust a nut. Ball ballsy fuck on a bottle of butt. Bottom feeding on the bitter bottle oven is Dutch. Won't beg no more in the Black ball. With the fans, no publicity stunts. Take your dad's car, put this in the trunk. Check the black ball, you like my cat call. Check the black ball, you love the black ball. Check the black ball, you like my cat called black ball, you love the black ball. Check the black ball, you like my cat called Tom. Jokes to the side, Tom Green, man, your thighs are the pioneer kind. Rewind back to organized rhyme, you refined an entrepreneurial state of mind. Ah. Uh, 
one of my MTV Hollywood causes cancer, man. We agree, no disrespect to Joe Rogan, but the king of podcasting was already chosen. He did that shit, everyone took a pass. Juice like OJ, original jackass. Subliminal track past the white chocolate. Invisible blast from the plasma, wait, stop it, Tom. Please, listen here, I'm too old to beg for a guest, man, cheers, I promise, I will not talk about, hmm, now everyone knew she's better than you, I don't wanna piss you off, man, but I also don't wanna come across like I'm soft, 12 years ago, a friend of mine told me a stat that nearly blew my mind, Ivan Berry, that was Sony's main guy, only signed one rap back in 2005, prepared for impact, the pleasure's mine, sincerely yours, the guy who can own so spit rhymes. Check Ready the black for the elbows, ball. everybody. Like cat call. Check the black ball. You love the black ball. Check the black ball. You love my cat call. Check the black ball. You love the black ball. You love the black ball. Yeah. <laughs> Can't tell if I'm like scanning or or like being original. But I love Tom Green, and that was just like from one Canadian pasty white rapper to another. <laughs> That's a way to see if you'll come on my show. Uh, anyways. <laughs> there it was. Check the blog ball by James D. Fiore. Hey, what are you guys doing? Um, the elbows. We did the elbows for your song. Did you we do kept, the elbows? Yeah, we jumped in every once in a while and showed the elbows off a bit. That's so funny. That's funny. The only funny. one that had soul was Douglas, just saying, to be fair. It's, it's totally true. Yeah. Um. So that was my, that, that, that was my, so am I, st- I meant that at the end. Am I standing? Is is this a stand moment for me? Very. Like, my, yeah. Very. This is, yeah, I don't no. care. I, I think Tom Green, this is my personal appeal to Tom, to Tom Green. I think Tom Green is like um, the Andy Warhol of uh, reality television in a sense, because mm-hmm. he was like okay. the first guy that did pranks and stunts and crazy shit to his parents and all that predates jackass right it predates fucking all of these shows that came after it. he he invented podcasting he legit yeah he really invented. did yeah he really did and that's the funny thing is i don't think anybody gives him credit for that yeah. like at all they should um i've seen other people give him credit i think joe rogan actually gave him credit once when he was on a show he's like really i think joe rogan said something like i wouldn't be doing what i'm doing right now if it wasn't for what you did and what he did. And the weird thing about what he did was be, he was ahead of the technology, right? So he broadcasts, like he had like a whole room at his house dedicated to like servers and like bandwidth stuff or whatever the fuck, all this tech, because he broadcast with like cables, like he had cables, like the big thick cables you see on movie sets and shit. And like an audience, and and like he just tried to turn it into a TV show, right? And, well, and it was like a Canadian Wayne's World almost. That's kind of what I was thinking, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, dude, he he's just done so much. I feel like he's, and then he goes and marries Drew Barrymore. Like, he's my hero. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I don't think that's still a thing. You know, it was only a year, but you know, he was. But it was she probably was a good her, year. She was kind of in her prime, like. You know, kind, kind of, kind of in her prime. Like she was, you know, it's like 2003. That was like 19 years ago. She's my age, so she was yeah. like 28 at the time. I mean, it's too young for me. But I'm gonna say nothing because I love Drew. I love Drew too. What, what did I say that was? Hate? No, no, nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh. No, no, I mean, nothing. she's in her prime now. Really She'll always be in her prime. I was gonna say. I think <laughs> now. I was thinking. Now is probably the best. Here we go, her. James. You're pissing off the gays again. You no, know, when <laughs> Douglas is job. here, did you hear what I just said? When Douglas Fox. is here, I have to be as politically as correct as I can. So I'm like, nope. she's gonna always be in her prime because she's a strong woman, and that's what it is. Unless yeah, she decides she's a man on Tuesday, then, then we have to respect that. Nah, she's just, she's just gorgeous. <laughs> she is. Yeah, she is. She yeah. is. Yeah, and a great actress too. And uh, she yeah. I don't think she gets the credit. I think she um I think people mistook her after especially after the David Letterman stunt. I think people kind of mistook her for yeah. how serious of an actor she is. Uh because she's really really good. Everything she does, she she nails it out of the park. But that yeah. stigma of flashing Dave Letterman um just kind of ah. stuck with her even though she was just having a good time, you know? Did like Did you see Great Gardens? Fun. Did you watch Great Gardens? No. What is it that? was awesome. Douglas, awesome. did you watch that? Yes. It was so amazing. That was for like, TV though, right? 
Pardon me? She got Emmy nominated. That was for TV, right, Greg Gardner? I, I don't remember if it was AMC or something like that. Or okay. I, I don't think it was like like one of the networks or whatever, but okay. uh, it could have been could have been HBO even. Um, but yeah, she, she was just so good. And she played like a crazy Kennedy um relative who and it's a real story. And oh, they, they do know about this. Yeah. yeah. And, and they owned this house in like, I don't know, the Hamptons or some shit. And uh and and they just kind of like Stayed uh, there. Hyanna Sport. Were they up in Hyanna Sport? Where yeah. they all lived and they were out in the Hyanna Sport. <laughs> all right. That's where the Kennedys Say chowda. all lived. Chowda. Chowda. <laughs> Say it again, Frenchie. Chowda. Yeah, that was a uh, that was a great. Uh, Sorry. Sorry. She yeah. She, I I just think she was very underrated for for what she did, and I, did I think she was underutilized as well. Really? Because mm. I mean, her film like. Is it called a filmography? Whatever it is, it, yeah. it's pretty extensive. I don't think she was like blacklisted or anything like that. No, Plus but she's I mean, like royalty in Hollywood. Is she? John Barrymore was her grandfather. Yeah. John Barrymore was like, I I saw a really amazing um, in 1999 at the Ford Center for the Performing Arts. I saw Christopher Plummer do the one man act Barrymore, and it was amazing. I still plagiarize the shit out of that play. <laughs> really, eh? Like the best line ever is the very last line he delivers. He says, uh, "If Eve would have given Adam a daiquiri instead of an apple, we'd still be living in paradise." That was just like so that's a good that's a good is. point. Yeah, it's a really good point. <laughs> that's a very solid point. <laughs> <laughs> you can see why I stole it. <laughs> yeah, it, it, and 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 it's got it has merit because why else do they give you wine when you're at church? Like, I'm sorry, but like if they, if they didn't want that's you drinking, that's the altar boys. That's really yeah, what that's uh, for. If they didn't want you drinking, they'd make you sip out of that bowl that you put the water on your face when you walk in. Yeah, the one that burns that's... when you touch it. You guys are the oh, same, right? When you touch yeah, it, it yeah. burns. Okay, because yeah, that's well, when yeah, I yeah. do it. Yeah. Well, I get electrocuted because all the lightning that's hitting me. <laughs> <laughs> Keep him out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> wow, though that that is a pre-COVID thing, probably too, eh? Because everyone oh, puts their fingers in it, and then do they do that still? The, the only oh, one yeah, here I, that I think that has anything to do with the church is Douglas, and Douglas might be able to to enlighten us. Douglas, do they still? Do you know if they still do the holy water thing? Like the, when you walk in and you no, but when you when you walk in, <laughs> that's and you an touch exorcism. It, it's a Catholic thing, really. I think where <laughs> yeah, you touch the water and, and touch your the foyer. Yeah, it's the do they yeah, still yeah. do that? Yeah, even after COVID, it's in the foyer just before well, I, you walk into the actual thing. Or is it yeah. like is it Lysol and they just bless the Lysol? Well, no, I, I believe. Well, I haven't. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> it's the, usually at clean? the feet of a of a Mother Mary I'm statue. So sorry, it's pine salt. <laughs> it's just pine salt. It smells great now. <laughs> it smells great now. now I, I, do, I do believe in, in, in yeah, in a good number of churches in between uh, the time. And I don't know this from having attended church myself, but the choir that I sing in yeah uh, is a church. Tour, it's in a so church. Yeah, it's I believe a church that choir. They, they were empty. Yes, but they're, they're okay. full again now. Okay. Okay. So now we're just so spreading last, strep A and COVID. Yeah, the last choral, choral concert we did, it was there. Okay. Well, it's only if you have an open wound on your forehead when you do the sign of the cross, really, that you're in danger. I, think. I always licked my fingers, though. Mm. <laughs> you know? Or what about the priest? Yeah, does where, he where still he, give it to you, like, uh, in your face? Like, does yeah, he actually, well, like... You can choose. I, I I was in grade six, and I was I looked at my teacher. We weren't allowed <laughs> to use our hands. Wait, we had wait. to stick our tongue out in front of the priest as he put yeah. something in our mouths. Like, I have a question. I have a question. Yeah. Does the priest still jam it in your mouth? Or can you take it in your hand now? Now well, you, you can, can take it in your hand. You can, well, you could do both back then, but they didn't let us because we were kids. For some reason, it was better to make kids do the no hands with the tongue sticking out than anyone else. I guess the priest had oh. control over that shit because... The see, girls were allowed to use their hands. But... What? What, Miss Lindley? What? Just, just listen. <laughs> she, wasn't, she, wasn't, she wasn't raised in any sort of organized religion, so... It's it's kind of a match made in heaven with me, oh, um, well, no pun intended. And she, uh, so so when when we talk about these kind of things, they're kind of they kind of blow her mind. Like I've I've told her some stories about things that happen in because I grew up I grew up as a Roman Catholic. I went to Catholic school from grade one to grade twelve. Yeah, and okay. um, yeah, it I was uh, at eight. My favorite, my my favorite, my favorite. I swear to God, my favorite class was grade eleven world religion because we got to go see other people. 
We got to go yes. see how they did shit. And yeah. that was okay. Like that was cool. It was like, okay, we went and saw, we went to a mosque. We went to a temple, like a, like an actual, like a Jewish temple. It was, we had a good view of what was happening and better food. Like it was so much better. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I remember though, you know how you are in high school, you know, everything when you're in high school, right? Like you are the utmost authority of nothing, but mm -hmm. everything at the same time. And I remember we went to the mosque and we told them uh, we were very, very disappointed in them for males going in one door and females going in another. We made sure that they were very well aware that we were very against this. And they just kind of, because they were very polite. They loved that, that we were there. They just nodded and smiled. Thank you. Um, yeah. Doing this but for thousands of years, but thank you. But, but, um, Ryan, for, and, but then you're like Ryan. this. Oh, my God. I can't believe that the women had to go. You know what? Let's go back to the zombie church where we drink blood and eat bodies and where everything's normal. Okay. Yeah. Let's go back yeah. there. <laughs> you know? And the priest has this weird fucking box of $5 bills and candy. It's just yeah. odd. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like And a van <laughs> in a van. <laughs> yes. <laughs> my favorite. Um, and I think I've told this story before. But I'll tell it again. My, uh, my favorite uh, Catholic kid growing up story was uh, confession. Um, cause I, cause first of all, they, wh wherever they go, the seminary school that these priests go to, at least at the church that I was part of, which was St. John's, the evangelist church in Whitby, Ontario. Yeah. Um, they, I could see seminary school would be like this. Uh, yes. Uh, well, father, um, what kind of Ooh. penance should we give these kids? And he was probably not even looking at him. He's like, ah, just 10 Hail Marys. <laughs> That's all it is, right? Yeah. That's all we ever got was ten hail marys. Ten hail marys. Yeah, that's that. That's no matter what we fucking said. As a minimum sentence, right? So I'm in grade seven, grade six, grade seven, something like that, and uh, and I go into confession. We used to have to go. I think it was like two or three times a year, three three or four times a year, something like that. Yeah. And um, so I go, and and then I, uh, you know, bless me, Father, for I've sinned. It's been X amount of time since my last confession. These are my sins. You know, I swore. I used the God's name in vain. You know, I took money out of my mom's purse. I had sex, and I'm only 12. Yeah. Something like that, right? And, <laughs> <laughs> right? And, uh, and then the next time I go to, con and then I get 10 Hail Marys. Don't just listen. Phone somebody. Yeah, it's right. a black bald exclusive. <laughs> That's right. So, th but then I would like, but then, you know, I get 10 Hail Marys, no matter what it was. So then one time I went in and I'm like, <laughs> it's Father Murphy. And the only thing that you could really distinguish from Father Murphy through that perforated screen was his eyebrows because they were like massive <laughs> eyebrows. <laughs> right. <laughs> and uh, so I'm like, bless me, Father, for I've sinned. It's been X amount of times since my last confession. And these bless are my me, sins. Eugene Levy. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are you going to army Chris my punchline here? Is that sorry. what you're doing? <laughs> sorry. Oh, that's why you invited me. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, so, bless you, Father, for I've sinned, yada, yada. And uh, it's been, uh, and these are my sins. Um, I, I, I lied to, uh, to my dad or whatever. Um, yeah. Oh, also, the last time I was in here, all those sins, yeah, that was all bullshit. They were all um, lies. So I lied about the uh, confession last time. You lied about And lying. I'm thinking that he's going to be like this, like, you know, whatever. He's like, 10 Hail Marys, James. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't get a rosary for that like what the fuck like, See, my, i made an abomination uh, of the actual institution of confession and you're like eh, i don't fucking care <laughs> i always i always thought it was weird when i would go in and the uh we and and our priest his name was father kennedy god rest his soul he died a thousand years ago but he was Who? very Who old his, what very old and very confused and it was father kennedy and father kennedy actually and i'm not making this i swear to god i'm not making this up if you were to run elmer fudd next to him speaking it's the same guy like it was always like he had that he had the that weird pennsylvania dutch kind of weird lispy thing going on and i always thought it was weird when i was in that confessional with with him and he used to say, okay, so I want you to tell me that, but slow down a bit. Oh, no. Slow it down. Talk a little, a little lower. Talk slower. Oh, come on. Tell me, tell me more. 
Tell me you, all about Elmer Fudd was your priest? Like Yeah, it was. It was it was and, and I didn't realize it as a kid, right? I didn't like I know who Elmer Fudd was, but I like I didn't put the two and two together. But my uncle, by the way, my You're the a rascally reason, Wyan. Yeah. That's my all. my my very in the and this is the eighties, mind you, my very openly gay uncle and flamboyant uncle. Uh, incredibly fucking like my favorite uncle in my entire realm of, of family um, was at my first communion and first, whatever the fuck they were. And because the family has to show up, even if they're not religious, right? They just, your parents compel everybody. The power of Christ compels you to come to my child's communion. It's a, can it's right? a cannibalism ceremony. Why wouldn't yeah. they want to be there? So mm -hmm. my uncle who just wasn't that into Jesus um, showed up and, as we were sitting in the row, he leaned down to me and said, Ryan, you realize he sounds like Elmer Fudd. And I was what, 10 years old. Uh, and I, I couldn't get it out of my, I couldn't get it out of my head. I couldn't stop <laughs> thinking about it. So every time father Kennedy would speak, I would fucking die inside laughing, thinking about my uncle Jim telling me that's Elmer Fudd. So we used to call him Elmer Fudd. And every time I saw my Uncle Jim, he's like, oh, did you go see Elmer Fudd this Sunday? <laughs> like, <Elmer Fudd. laughs> Ryan, did he ever walk up to you and go, be very, very be quiet. Very quiet. <laughs> it's it's in season. Tell me all about <laughs> what you did. Very slowly. Very well, I'm going to turn the whites down a bit. So I'm going to turn the whites down. And I'm going to have the organ playing in the <laughs> background really slow. It's a pity there's no hell for us to go to, really. Yeah. really if there is. were, there'd be extra shovelfuls of coal going on our Right? <laughs> I think the devil would like us. I, think I can't believe we're be talking this way. We're talking this way 57 minutes before Jesus' birthday, you fucking assholes. <laughs> oh like, this is insane. Okay, first of all, it's a day. First of all, his birthday is March 24th. That's actually a real thing. Um, yes. you know, that was summer. This is a Constantinian day that, that we sister. are celebrating. All hail Constantine. That's all that matters, right? That was his uh, sister, Sarah Christ. Nobody heard about her because she didn't do anything fucking special. I she tell my, my son still looks at statues of Mary because I trained him when he was really young. And he's like, hey, Frank, whenever he sees a statue of Mary, I just taught him to say, hey, Frank, for no yeah. reason whatsoever. But also, um, <laughs> I was just going to go into a, a Virgin Mary rant, but. It speaks for itself. I mean, she had Frank. sex. She had sex. I'm just saying. She, she, you hey, think? Frank. Hey, she had a baby. I, chances <laughs> are she had sex. I'm just saying. Like, you know, I don't think we have to accept the fact that a virgin had a baby. Um, and mean, Joseph, by it. the way, Joseph, dude. I know. Have some fucking like can you ignorant for yourself. It's like he's. It's like Joseph is fucking Milhouse's dad. Okay, oh. if you say you didn't have sex with him, I guess so. Can I All borrow right. a feeling? Can I, can I can borrow, I borrow a, feeling? a feeling? I sleep in a race car, do you know? <laughs> I, sleep I sleep in, in a, a manger with your wife. That's what I'm doing. We don't know if single people eat crackers. We, we don't want to know. <laughs> we've all figured this out, right? We've all figured out that Joseph is standing there. He's looking at oh, Mary. He and he says... So you got pregnant how? And she says, oh, God did it. He's like, oh, okay. The guy I've, ne I've never met God. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is, a, this is a miracle. She's a yeah, very, very big miracle. So then they get to the manger. She starts, she starts calfing Jesus. And um, then the three dudes on. show up with gold and perfume and like fur coats and just out of nowhere. Right. It's like and a porn they're set, like, obviously. hey. Hey. hey and she's like oh hey guys um yeah this is my husband and jo joseph's like yeah okay i get it i totally get it <laughs> wait she's we can flip the script on that whole thing and maybe the reason why it was a virgin cover story was because joseph was in the room when she was impregnated and didn't want anyone to know he was into that I think and he's god and, and mary were like yeah, he's we the, agree. He's we agree. the cuckold carpenter. Wow. That's right. That's right. <laughs> wow, you Jesus went all Christ. the way, all the way there. You know what? I think that's a plausible theory. Like I, I, I don't have I mean, a problem. It's, it's hey, better no than bad, no ideas are bad ideas. Right? That's right. We we Sorry. all have to kind of give credence to the idea that all of this is bullshit. Go ahead. Sorry, Douglas. Go ahead. 
I got nothing. Oh, I thought you were. <laughs> no, it was Ashley. Point. Ashley, oh, I Ashley, stepped I'm over sorry. Ashley. What'd you say, Ashley? No, it was just, I like James's idea better than the Bible. Yeah, yeah. Then he was you, a Ashley. Yeah, Thank why you. Not? It kind of makes it more carpenter. interesting. Mm-hmm. Imagine the right Bible back. if it was really written like in the true way it was back then, just read like an ancient penthouse forum. That would be amazing. Ooh. You know, mm. Genesis would be. Would, I'd never get past. Genesis. That'd be hot. <laughs> Very yes. spicy. With all that Why are all the Genesis pages stuck together? <laughs> <laughs> I would say well, Revelations. Like, you think all that begatten came to happen? If you're a sadomasochist, <laughs> Revelations you know, would be like your your kink. It'd be great. The Noah flood was just a bukkake scene, really, at the end of the day, right? Wow. Like was, well, <laughs> or, what? Or a water sport. There's people in the bukkake community that are fine with this, Ashley. I'll just have you know. Anyways. Oh, how dare I, you? You know what? I I think it's gross. I'm not a part of that particular community, so I'm <laughs> glad that you can speak on their behalf. No, I cannot. I think oh, it's really gross. Just gross for for you. There's so much about pornography that really <laughs> actually disturbed the shit out of me, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, it's All weird. are welcome, no matter how freaky. It's yeah true. right don't yeah we don't yuck other people's yums have you gotten have you, have you gotten past the first 45 seconds of a porn james i haven't i don't know what you're talking about i usually <laughs> skip ahead to the things that i'm interested in <laughs> what i can't stand there when they talk like stop talking oh yeah <laughs> nobody <laughs> wants an intro two hours yeah. of a movie and i only watch is only like five watchable minutes I like when the lawyer comes in with a non-disclosure. That that's the that's the part where I I lose you know, it. You know, back in yeah. the day, when when things get when back in the day when we were watching them on VCRs, when you had a bad one, is when your mm-hmm. remote control got more action than you did. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine the terms on a remote control back in the eighties and nineties, though. Imagine. Ashley, does our dog need to pee? I can hear our dog scream. No, he's just yelling at me. No, oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I could hear him just screaming in the background. No one has a comment on how filthy a remote control could have been in the eighties and nineties. It's just going to stand alone. Because I think it's a worth worthwhile discussion. Do you know how many do you know bums? Do you know me, thing? I've I've put it out there. You do with it what you will. Do you know how many orifices the um? A hotel remote remote has probably been in that you like mm. use on a. Oh, I don't turn on the TV I've at a hotel. I, I never do. Now. Even the yeah. ones that are that are stuck to the nightstands. I I just my computer is my oh, TV. I will not touch a remote control or a TV button or anything. I just. Are you guys? Are you guys like me? Do you sleep on top of the covers in hotels? <laughs> I sleep with my clothes on in a hotel. Yeah, so do I. I, I will not like I sleep <laughs> I on top of the covers in a hotel. Like if yeah. I have if I have the space, I will bring a sleeping bag with me to a hotel. Unless I'm doing a whole bunch of cocaine, and then I know I'm the dirty one, and I just say fuck it. Right? Yeah. Like, no, that's fine. And and like if if. It depends on how many days the hooker's been dead under the bed in the motel. Um, oh, oh that's disgusting. God. Yeah, put that's it horrible. in the fucking laundry thing at least. Like, come on, <laughs> or the ice box. <laughs> <laughs> always buy your ice. By the way, in hotels, always buy your ice from the variety store. Do not buy your. Do not. These people use their the hands and their penis. And sometimes their penis goes in the ice box. What? Remember when you were a kid? Well, remember when you were a kid? <laughs> what? You just wanted to put your dick against cold things. What? No. You always no. wanted to put your dick uh, against all things right, cold. Scooter no. McGee. Scooter McGee. That's a Scooter Never. McGee moment. Oh. <laughs> it's just sure. me? Yeah. It's just yeah, me? Never. <laughs> Did you own a trench coat when you were younger? It was <sighs> it was American Pie, not American Dairy Queen ice cream cake. <laughs> right. Like- and it was a movie, not a dare. Jesus. And the pie was warm. You never closed the <laughs> fridge door on your on your on your wiener when you were a kid? No. Nothing but just the wall. No, Ashley didn't. I definitely did. All right. Not. All right. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this right into the gutter before we end then. Because okay. you guys are Go. fucking liars. You're dirty, yeah. rotten liars. I've done and many things. No, no, I'll I'll I can tell you a million things that, that are dirty, but none of them involve me going. And there's an ice machine there. You're now. dirty liars. I'm going to put and... my penis because it's cold. That's why. That's, that's like that's if Forrest weird. Gump were a sex offender, that's what he would do. He would be like, an ice machine, penis, meat, ice cubes. Like, I don't know anyone that's ever done that. Ryan, do you need help? Do you need to talk about it? I'm water when it's too cold. I'm certainly not going to put it in ice cubes. Right? As an adult, you're correct, Douglas. But I would like to bring you guys all, cast your memories back, y'all. To back to before the time that you knew what to do with a um, raging uh, um, hard on, and you didn't know that there was a way to 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 deal with that. Did you not enjoy putting it on a cold surface? 
I, I, I honestly, to try and alleviate the the like you're like what is going on here? I've enjoyed ice cubes in and on other places, but not there. <laughs> well, that you're time all liars. period of your life—you're all liars. That time period of, of my life where I, where, I, where I didn't know what to do with it lasted only a few weeks because I literally was twelve when I first had sex. So I think I I do remember the pool jet. You know the pool jet? Yes. Oh, that was like that I remember. That was, I was my like my favorite. best friend. I used to get home from school really quick. Yeah. Front and back. Yeah. You guys no, are just all... the front for me. I didn't even know the, the conceptual thing about the back till I was like 30. Yeah. I didn't front you know. and back. Dirty no, fucking absolutely. liars. The pool no, I think yeah, you're jet. the dirty truth teller is really what's I'm just happening. Gonna eat just a liars. Christmas cookie and have I, myself a wholesome time I, over here. I, I Did you put your labia against not. against an ice machine, uh, Miss Lindley? Like 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 it's a, the weirdest question, is it not? Like no, but uh, what, what you don't you don't put your flaps shakes? on cold things. Flaps. What's that? Ice ice will stick. <laughs> Sorry. That would be I, the thing. Can we all just validate the flaps? Please? Jesus. <laughs> the flaps. Just flaps. Don't stick to flaps. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like a Christmas story when he puts his tongue on the pole. It's like that that, would seriously. Happen? Like, why would you do that? <laughs> when you're when you turn fifty, do the flaps become the flops? <laughs> I'm oh, um, oh, not 33 oh, oh. yet, so I, I know, know you're not. I just what mean they become, I, I and they hang like a words. sleeve I will let on you a wizard. Know what I call them at that time? <laughs> like you're getting your car washed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just yeah, just this, this big swingy, yeah. All right. <laughs> Is that a willow tree? No, that's my wife. <laughs> oh, 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 that's you awesome. look like the suds, dear. So anyway. Holy oh, fuck, no. that's funny. Don't like stick a car wash. I, I'm just thinking that. about that slapping against you the too. windows. <laughs> but it stays there for so long. Oh, It'd be like going gosh. down on her, right? Just like slowly. <laughs> Okay. okay, I'm canceled. Some <laughs> vagina fucking rights group. See, and like, really D- see Douglas is yeah. like, I've made you're, the right decision. This is the thing I have to deal with. Like, I brought Douglas to the dark no side. Flaps. <laughs> Do we have cookies? We, uh, we have so Wait till you hear what we close with. Wait till you hear the song we close <laughs> with. It's going to be great. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm not right. I love you. <laughs> oh. Fuck. Am I going to get in trouble? No, right? Like that was no, no, no. no. We didn't we say won't anything. Tell. Un- we didn't say anything. We won't tell who, know, who will know? Right? You know, that's right. Two out of three people on this very podcast right now have blocked me in the past. So I just want to. <laughs> That That's true, actually. It, it, Douglas. it was just a timeout. It we was kind of it. We, we just took a break. break. We were on a break, out. James. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's why I fucked all those people. We were on a break. <laughs> that's, that's why I said we were on a break. <laughs> now look where we are. <laughs> we're two hours and six minutes in, and I'm not even tired yet. <laughs> But it's okay. I know. I know. I, you know what? I was actually waiting for you to, to, to die off, and, and we've actually, it's gone nowhere but up right. that's right I, I don't know what it is um you know i'm tired some days and some days i'm not i haven't been um that's i had an easy day at work today i the, the library was like, for, what's that? sometimes you're tired and sometimes you're not Shut up. Like, that happens to me too <laughs> That's like, like, this, just, that, that's like that like sports announcer. Thanks, I, thanks Bill Nye. I, I think the key to the game, Steve, is uh, for the Rangers to put more goals in the net snap. than the Blackhawks. And I think that's going to determine who it's, wins it's, this game. It's, it's John Madden, where he eats his own words. Yeah. You know, sometimes. sometimes you got to put the ball down the field. Yeah. See you next week. On this week in baseball, because it's on again <laughs> at this time next week. All right, see you later. Oh, I, don't know. I have That's a, uh, I have a red button here that will definitely get us canceled and uh, put us into the new year. It'll be great. Um, oh, am I the red button? No, <laughs> no, no. It's the song we were talking about on the phone before we started the podcast. Oh, I don't know about that because it feels an. It, it, I, I don't know the backstory enough yet. I need the receipts to show me that this person is 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 like is it a Jimmy P situation where he's making fun of himself? No, he's not making. It, there's nothing. 
there's nothing to be made fun of. It's just something that's actually accurate. I thought he has Tourette's or something. It's, some, it's they're accurately describing the weather. They're they're warning you of a weather event. It's the delivery I'm speaking about. <laughs> is it? Is it? Douglas. Yes. Can we just okay. blame? Can we just? Can you own this clip so that <laughs> we won't get canceled? <laughs> can you put your gay shield up for us? <laughs> <laughs> Rainbow. And not the salad bar shield shit. None of that. Shit. We want the Pope Mobile shields. Like we want to get. Right. We that want that. We want that bulletproof one. That's the That's worst. Right. No. Oh, shit. no, no. I wouldn't put. I wouldn't put. I wouldn't put anybody on this podcast in in any sort of situation. But this is. The, it was. It. We can save it. We'll save it for the new year. Save it for the Lens Report. It was just so funny because it was because of the snowstorm we're having, and it's literally very topical, and that's all. I just don't understand. Okay, let's put it this way: considering considering the people James interviews, (laughs) if he's having reservations, it is air on this side of the line. I just don't. I need to know if the person that's singing. Okay, remember, I don't know if I ever told you guys about um, this comedy. Like, if I would ever do an amateur night at a comedy club, the bit that I would uh, I, I would include this bit, and okay. it would be about talking about how, um, like you imp- like say I was a guy that impersonated actors, and I would do a couple of little quick little impersonations, and people were like, oh, that's pretty fucking good. And then it'd be like, and then I'd try to do another one, and I'd stop myself, and be like, oh, I can't do this one. Why not? Okay. Because it's Walter Jr. in Breaking Bad. We've talked about this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so yeah. the bit becomes everyone else imagining doing it and going, oh, how would you do that? Oh, could you do mm-hmm. that? I don't think you could do that. I would. Laugh. And then in my bit, in laugh. my head, I turn it into like a do really it. dirty bit where I'm like, you can only do like two syllables. And it's like, I, and, and, you know, and it's like, I'm going to hang. Laugh. I'm going <laughs> to. I would laugh. I would get weak in the knees from the laughter. Okay. okay but what was I'm, the I'm other gonna thing hang. he was going to say? Uncle Hank, I'm I'm gonna come. <laughs> when he brought him to bring Wendy, he met he met Wendy. Remember the hooker? He yeah, brought him Wendy. 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 I don't she remember. was known for the blowjobs. <laughs> oh, okay, I was wondering if she farted. <laughs> but, <laughs> That's disgusting. Not, not on this podcast, Douglas. <laughs> James hates. <laughs> Far jokes. Oh, no. Eight toilet humor. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Noted. I'm I will be a good fine. guest. <laughs> <laughs> I have a mute power. I forgot. <laughs> no, um, it, it's that's that's so funny. You can't impersonate um, Walter Jr. because you can't. it will feel like ableism or something, right? Like it's like yeah. the, it's like the blackface of voices. Right? Yeah, you can't right. it really is. Well, okay, so I'll throw I'll throw it out there. In, I'm not going to play it, but I'm going to throw it out there because there's people in the com- I can see the comments on YouTube. Yeah, I definitely um, want to see it. <laughs> well, no, no, it's not. It's not a. Uh, it's not a video. It's just. A, it's just audio because this is actually okay. from Dean's show back in the day on the Edge. So they played oh, it yes. on terrestrial radio. Okay. Oh, so, sorry. Uh, were you talking about the host that got fired for playing stuff on air? <laughs> Not no. this. He didn't Not get. No. He didn't no, get in this. trouble for this. this. Only how to see Never. Okay, but when he did get fired, did they look at this as there like may be? A, there may have been a CBSC um, CRTC complaint. No, or a CBSC mark. I, I don't know, but the person that's involved. Uh, and if anybody in the comments was a fan of of Dean's show back in the day, what we've done lately is we've kind of gone back and we've we've pulled some of the old clips like we had some because dean show had some gold in there mm-hmm. and they were very non uh consequential clips that were like you wouldn't know that they were from the edge so it's like we should really try to bring these back to our show so i went and did some farming and if anybody remembers and, and i'm just gonna say it i'm just gonna say the name if anybody remembers frankie the weather guy and if you can tell me you know who frankie the weather guy is in the comments you'll know who i'm talking about you'll be able to tell i'll be able to tell james because he can't read your comments i'm gonna lie and say that i saw oh yeah these were fine um uh frankie was um a guy that used to come on and give weather updates from the east coast here in canada and frankie still to this day does weather updates from the east coast i think he's i think he's from halifax but um frankie and he's and he's great he's actually really really good but his delivery is very very um urgent 
when it comes to telling you about the weather. Like he's very okay. urgent when he tells you about things. Uh, he's there's the level of concern that's in Frankie's delivery is adequate when we're having an event like we're having today. Okay. Maybe okay. not when it's just scattered showers with a chance of, you know, gotcha. thunderstorms, <laughs> but partly sunny in the afternoon. So I'm looking and I'm seeing comments. No. Yeah, see, everybody knows who mm -hmm. Frankie is. He's from Nova Scotia. See, people know he's from Nova Scotia. Mm -hmm. So you guys know he is the most efficient uh, meteorologist that isn't a meteorologist in this country. And and I wish Frankie would deliver the weather to us, especially during days like today, every time. Because if that was the case, nobody would be driving right now. Nobody would be on the road if they listen to Frankie because he doesn't, he doesn't tell any non-truths. He tells you the truth just with gusto that's like a a, the most day. Lachlan intro I i've ever want to hear it now right. I, I, he, I do want to hear a four it. minute intro but go ahead go ahead, play it play it don't think meat just throw okay don't so the female that that plays um okay. the the other the counterpart is that's you'll i'm not calling from, the meat that's a bull durham quote but go on <laughs> you'll remember oh, from porky's quote sorry you'll remember from dean's show uh the female in this in this is psychic nikki if you guys remember oh, yeah. uh, remember edge seen. um yeah, Dean on the edge. So uh, we should have played this this morning just to get people ready. But here we go. I really can't stay. We got a huge snowstorm. I've got to go away. Major snowstorm. This evening has been ton of high so winds. very nice. 50 plus centimeters of snow. My mother will start to worry. Ton of snow. My father will be pacing the floor. Real high winds. So really I better scurry. Be prepared. But maybe just a half a drink more. Have your winter boots ready. The neighbors might faint. Hats and gloves and scarves and skin pads. Say what's in this drink? <laughs> Put the salt on the road. I wish I knew how. Get your snow plows ready. To break the spell. <laughs> and they destroy transformers. I ought to say no, no, sir. It's going to hit late this At week. At least I'm going to say that I tried. Light a fire to stay warm. I really can't stay. Have your winter jackets ready. Oh, baby, it's cold. Major snow storm. <laughs> With the wind chill. Yeah? Don't go outside. That's good. Keep all your pants inside or they'll freeze solid. I simply must go. Major snow storm. The answer is no. People will be frostbitten. Your welcome has been <laughs> huge snow storm. So nice and warm. Cars and trucks will not start cause the, the My cold. My sister will be um, suspicious. Stay inside. My brother will be there at the door. Don't let your love once alone. I really can't <laughs> stay. Lot of snow. Baby, it's cold. Major snow storm. Late this week. Best luck to you. Thanks, Frankie. I love it. Isn't he uh, great? Isn't is that not the most efficient way to tell people don't fucking drive in this shit? Like as, people as are long as he's not special needs, it's fine. I thought he was special, not special needs. needs. No, he's well, not then, special needs. But is he pretending he is? Because then that's no, what I mean. no, no, no. He's uh, uh, Frank. Are you Frankie, sure? just no, loud. I wouldn't say he's no. I wouldn't say he's special needs. He's he's just he's very loud. He's very enthusiastic when it comes to the weather. Just likes to tell you like that. He's not. He's not like it's. That's... All right. We'll let him have his cover story for now. All yeah. right. I know what he's doing. He's... Cool. <laughs> I know what that guy's doing. I'm just. Wow. He's a real person, James. I know he's a real person. I, I'm not insulting him. I'm. 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 I'm saying that I'm a. Listen, it's good that I have this fear. I no, he's a, just... no. He's a. He's a real person that isn't isn't putting it on when he's doing that. If if that's what you're asking, he's not putting it on. That like, is. It's Frankie. not a bit. No. Okay. No, that's then that's how Frankie is. It's funny. Makes me feel guilty. Then that's what I'm saying. Why? You know what I mean? Because I think it's funny because he sounds like a bit because it sounds like he's got Tourette. What was what was funny about that? He was very serious about about the weather. And okay. Like he was trying I'm, to I'm tell not gonna, Come on. You, everyone knows what I mean. It sounds like he has <laughs> <I'm joking>. Tourette's. <laughs> Tourette's. He didn't say you, fuck once. You don't have he didn't to say swear. Tourette's balls. He didn't say anything. Profanity is not a prerequisite for Tourette's. I thought that was a thing. It's true. 
It's a no. symptom sometimes, but it's it's just that's a symptom, not it's the a disease. Tick, isn't it? Isn't a tick thing? Like the yeah, but you can, you can say whatever. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes it's just movements. Yeah. Major snowstorm. Sometimes <laughs> it's that. See, like it's, it's my favorite thing in the world. Like it's it's the best. Don't get me wrong; it's really funny, but I have this fear that I love it because it's like like oh shit like i, I oh no no you know what For, and, and that's his, why i brought up the whole walter jr impersonation that's the only reason i brought it up because i was like what can i think of that i can't do because it's really offensive oh i know the thing do that it I again did. yeah i can't do it again. i can't remember what it line it was but like when it, uh, I'm you know, gonna when, hang. when it goes up a little bit that, that I'm going to come. There you go. <laughs> but that's okay, right? Like, that one's okay? He's, we're not getting a forecast here. I am Can't paying stay. tribute to we Walter Jr. I'm like going to come is kind of a you. forecast. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, you're, you're right. It is a forecast. <laughs> true you are in the splash zone no i'm telling you frankie frankie has been around for over over a decade and and he's and he's been on top of every single weather situation that has ever ever plagued this country and i just i love his enthusiasm i and i'm not kidding i actually love when he like when he when he gets the when there's a storm that's frankie's bag you know what i mean like he 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 goes after it, and I love his passion. I think. I, I, like I think can, can can we imagine a uh, a a scene with Frankie and uh, Walter Jr. where yeah. it's like uh, Uncle Frank? Thank you. <laughs> oh, Jesus <no>. Christ! <laughs> Extra shovel full of coal, of coal. right? One right. more fire. That's <laughs> black ball. Black ball stocking is. It's hot so in good. here, <laughs> Uncle Frank. <laughs> Major stop storm. <laughs> really coming in it. alone. <laughs> I'm not doing it again. <laughs> Maybe it's time to go. You have to send that time. <laughs> well, Merry Christmas, that everybody. That so bad. <laughs> What's that? Is you that have it? to send that to me, Ryan. I want it so bad. <laughs> I will. I'll send it. Yeah. And you know what? And if you go on YouTube and you pick, you, you just type in Frankie Weather, you'll get Frankie's forecasts, and they're okay. and they're phenomenal. Like he's so. I I as a content creator, because that's what he is. He's a content creator. Mm -hmm. He's a very popular content creator. He has more followers than all of us put together on every social media. Uh, no doubt platform Deservedly. so it's not like we're it's not like we're playing something out of school here this is what frankie does okay you know so and i love him for we it I, love, I, I, yes. I don't want i don't want frankie to ever stop doing what he does never he, change I, man i think it's fucking hilarious i just don't know if i'm allowed to so <laughs> <laughs> That's all it is. cool does anybody have his number we can call him and ask <laughs> hi we, we do you need to get him. I, know, I, have, I have, I have, a, I have a first, <laughs> a first, first degree of separation to Frankie. I could totally get a hold of him next time we you have a show. You just back the fuck up. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't I be do. on that show. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> What's your deal, man? Yeah, yeah. Well, I What's find you really hilarious, but is it a trap? It's a trap. Can't right? we? Can't we just right? can't, can't, an angle, can't, right? You can't we just bring Doug or something? <laughs> can't we just bring Douglas? Because Douglas is like our guy now. Like he's like our he's our. No, I might be on that show. I was right? just joking. I can yeah. handle it if I can handle fucking Chelsea Hillier. I can handle that. You know, like. You know, <laughs> My dad's right. You know, like, <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> My pussy. <does. laughs> she says a lot Fuck of weird right, things. Right, sister. <laughs> she says a lot of weird things. Yeah. So, By the way, I'm here. They shouldn't have turned my Facebook off. Oh no, not her. See, that to me is ableism too. It's so you guys were like, no, no, she's totally normal. I'm like, the, oh, come on. Like, what meets the standard of mentally like uh, or what special needs if she's not? She's from Aurelia, bud. Yeah, nope. sorry. That's that's actually an excuse. Actually, you could get you could put that on the application for a permit <laughs> for your car to get special parking. And she, you just have to say, "I'm from Aurelia." 
Does the sign when oh, you oh, enter right when you enter right Aurelia? Does the sign say "Welcome to Aurelia, home of the helmet"? Okay, so hope you're enjoying your stupid life. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the sign says. You drive to Aurelia. <laughs> oh, you're, Aurelia. Not, you're not leaving. Go to Aurelia. Oh, well, right. I hope you enjoy your stupid okay, life. Okay, so hope you're enjoying He'll your stupid back. life. I'll be back. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we, we, we better go before we say something that we might regret. <laughs> so that is not a representation of of Alberta. <laughs> Excuse me. I did not invite Lachlan on the show. <laughs> like, there was two people on one dildo. <laughs> oh, that's okay, then. <laughs> Whatever right. happened to streaking? <laughs> if so many lock drops it's my favorite <laughs> he says so I, many things i need to know like, i need to hear the rest of the streaking one like i need i need context for that one so badly <laughs> more the definitely... story of the loon why not contact the canadian wildlife service in ottawa yeah the loon yeah. mint <laughs> oh you should is that what you play after like a convoy guy is interviewed that's what you play after april uh, oh. Because she's totally normal. Saturdays for freedom. For a more complete story of the loon, why not contact the Canadian Wildlife Service in Ottawa? <laughs> God, do you want to hear something hilarious? <clears throat> yeah. Um, Karima has a phone where, when I, I've never heard of this before until Karima, where oh, if, yeah. if, if someone calls, uh, hold on, if someone calls her, yep. the phone's like algorithm or whatever the fuck will will be like. I think it's this person, right? <laughs> and, and honestly, and so every time I phone Karima, her phone yeah. says to her, I think it's Chris Guy. <laughs> why so would it? Why I don't would know. It think you're Chris Guy. I don't know. And so, um, and so Karima's partner will sometimes answer the phone, and I'm like, and they're like, hello, right? <laughs> and I'm like, hi, it's James. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, James. <laughs> like, they call screen. You're and right. Like, did it say Chris Guy again? She's like, it did. It's like every time I call her, that's what her phone says. It's you're, it might you're, be Chris Guy calling. So Whatever we put, means. and this was months ago, but we put out like a pretty um, time sensitive piece. And I was helping, this is before Karima started writing her own things with us at deanblundell.com. And I was there to help her do it. So we were back and forth on the phone dms and something had come up in the middle of one of our things and i said i gotta call you back she's like okay and she sends me the number the same thing happened to me i tried to get a hold of her and it's like trying to call the fucking white house when you phone karima <laughs> yeah, you cannot yeah. reach her and it's you have to go through all these steps and, and i get call control like people have like i try to call army chris and army chris has this weird call control thing oh this line has call control and it's like I don't even know. You press one button and it still lets your call through. I guess it keeps the robo calls away, but yeah, uh, Karima, yeah. it's like you have to go through like seven steps, including well, even, her partner. Yeah, right. Well, I have a direct, like, I mean, like I, I, I always get a hold of her. It's just yeah. that whenever she says hello, it's never like, Hey James, it's always hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like it's a very, like, I can't believe I have a phone. Where did this phone come from? Hello. I can't believe I've never tried to impersonate Chris guy i can't believe i haven't done that yet you know uh, to, to see if i can flirt it wouldn't oh be God, that it really hard. is chris guy this time it wouldn't be that hard you should do it you should like i forget just start what it screaming like. just watch some of the old like. some all some i want to do is put in a vaccine and then they're going to digitally like i can't like you know it would take like a week for me to perfect it and then, add, but then i can add, do it add about four inches on your teeth with something and talk i'm glad you said teeth yeah. you know you know just yell through your teeth it'd yeah, be okay help. yeah yeah. Uh, well, this was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine that. Imagine, how's James' career going? Uh, he's doing a Chris Guy impersonation. You know? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, how the mighty have fallen! <laughs> what happened? He impersonated Walter Jr. and said some pretty salacious <laughs> he'll things. Be, <laughs> he'll be he'll be premiering at Laugh Buckets in mm. Pensacola. Oh, don't say buckets in that context. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's over, guys. My mind's there. That's it. Oh, uh, I know. Right in the I know. Yeah. This, is going, this is going down. <laughs> like a hooker on prom night. Oh. oh what? Who brought a hooker to prom night? I was going to say faster than your mother did last night, but damn, you, Ooh, you took wow. it somewhere dark. 
Oh. I don't have a mother. Wow. My dad shared yours. Stepmother then. How about that? I hate that bitch. Oh. Let's go. Oh you my can God. have her. Do anything you want with her. <laughs> it's fine. I know a good cliff. Anyway. Okay, now say something oh. shitty about you... my dad. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, <hang on. laughs> Quickly. Uh, no, guys, the, speaking of this, like cagey? the city. The city of know. Welland actually put out, and speaking of, of your mom, the city of Welland put out a warning uh, on Twitter. It says, before everyone calls City Hall about where are the plows or why wasn't my road plowed, please remember that side streets always get plowed last. However, your mom will continue to get plowed first. That remains the priority. They actually released that? Boom. In Welland? I lived in Welland. Your I mom. am not surprised. That is fucking crazy. Uh, they had an ultra tone and they on. just like fucked up the language. No, <laughs> your mom it's a fake. It's a fake account. Plowed. Your your mom will continue to get like plowed it. first, yeah. and that's the priority. So yeah, speaking of plowing, everybody's mom on the on the panel here. Just be happy someone's making mom a priority. That's nice. She deserves <laughs> that. My if it makes anyone feel any better, my stepmother is probably getting plowed right now. <laughs> I don't know why, but I don't feel better. <laughs> now that is whoever's is doing something wrong with me. Oh, oh, good for you. <laughs> That's how I feel. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, good show. Okay. Yay. Another oh, good uh, Merry Christmas, casual everyone. Friday. Oh, shit. Merry <laughs> Christmas. Good stuff. Good stuff. It's always Maybe. a quality show when you end, uh, you end it while talking about plowing moms. Right? Right. right. Well, our work here is done. I Holy think so. Holy fuck is this wrong. Hmm. Mm. Just, and then James just, just takes himself out. Just, just leaves. He did this well, last time. He did this last it, week. No, I didn't leave. I didn't like, like my. <laughs> stri- it said my. Sh- everyone went frozen except for me. It, it's uh, doing it again. I thought you were just doing the thing again. We were gonna start talking shit. No, everything so was frozen. You, you guys are frozen <laughs> still. The we're gonna talk about your mom start. getting plowed again. <laughs> you guys are gonna be another hour of that. All right. No, we're gonna go. Frozen. You're mad. Everything's frozen. <laughs> but I can hear you, which is weird. <laughs> I wonder what it looks like on, in James's world nice. right now. Here, I'll, I'll take a screenshot and I'll send it's it probably to just the, the shrooms. No, it's not just the shrooms. We're actually still moving. It's, yeah, no, it's definitely drugs. It's drugs. It's not drugs. It's drugs. I, can you guys not hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Oh, okay. Everybody Wait, no, we can't can. hear you. Fuck you. <laughs> it's a I'm sending you, <laughs> Miss Lindley. I sent it to your Twitter because I can't find Ryan's fucking thing for some reason. But that's the that's what I've been looking and at. She, All of you guys she, are just laughing, 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 and laughing. How many of me do you see? That's a good. That's a good way. That's a good way to 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 identify the show, though. Everybody was having a good time. I love it. It's a great yeah, picture. Right? That's funny. Yeah, we look awesome. <sighs> All right, good guys. stuff, guys. <laughs> well, it's nice. It yeah, that was fun though. Two hours and thirty-one minutes might be the record. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. It's like we're yeah, friends sure or something. We do that all the time. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Before we go, though, Douglas, how drunk are you? Um, About this much. Well, it's not too bad. No. <laughs> That's not bad at all. Um, um, I, I'm, I'm like not on a scale of one to ten. On a scale of one to ten, I'm Four. probably a solid six. Six. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Good for you. Really? Yep. Yeah, I'm a lightweight. I'm constantly I'm really at like a four. So, um, yeah. yeah, when I when I ramp it up with the uh, double eggnogs and stuff, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm probably right around with you, six or seven at this point. Yeah, six. I just I've got that little buzzy feeling in my head, and you know, like all over in your body that lets you know that you're having fun, and lets you know that maybe like one or two more is not going to be better. Will there be? Is will there be? It it'll be. It'll definitely make it better, just for like a, a small time. And then yeah. it just gets worse. But will there be, will there be relations? Will there be relations? Well, I mean, yeah. My beaver sweeties had wine. I've had wine. Ah, that's my guy. Merry it Christmas the, to you, my friend. It is the season forgiven. Uh, <laughs> Can you actually give consent when you're inebriated, Douglas? Well, I'm, I'm speaking in complete sentences and I'm <laughs> relatively <laughs> rational. So I think I can consent. <laughs> I'm only slightly pickled. It's not like I have three sheets to the wind. So in order to get get pickled, you need to get pickled. Ah. Ah. Well, I hope you get exactly exactly what you want, my friend. Here's my pickle. Pretend it's a pickle. Tonight and for Christmas. 
<laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, now, my 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 uh, for the people who watch our show, they know how much I'm in love with my beaver, sweetie. It's been mm -hmm. uh, ten years in November, and uh, he thinks I hung the moon, and I think he he, he rocks my world. So, oh. ah, it's really sweet. That oh, is, it's been ten, how, did you say ten years? With ten years in November, yeah. Yeah, Good I'll, for I'll, you I'll run guys. Remembrance Day actually. We wow. met like late at night, uh, uh, like like past 10, 10 p.m. on the 10th. So the 10th and the 11th are our anniversary because we didn't get to bed until oh, you took two. You guys are <laughs> fucking sweet. God, it's killing me. I know. I've got cavities hearing the story. Fuck you, Douglas. I happened to land a good one. Hey, yeah. but you know what? I landed them at 39, right? So I had like, from the time I started dating, when I had like 29 years of dating not everyone there are a couple of couple of people who i dated who i'm still friends with but just yeah did, nothing really went anywhere and then you know i had the one of those the, these moments where i was thinking you know well maybe i'm one of these people who are destined to be alone and i actually spent five, the last relationship i had before him was so bad that i spent four years single on purpose not dating oh wow anyone that's all right well done right. like this and then really? it's just like and then it's the, oh yeah 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 just like i'm all the stuff i want to do the last six years i'm doing it the next four years it's all yeah. about me Man, and we were at you. like three right. years and six months and that's when i met him and it's like i still got six more months damn it <laughs> <laughs> that's why is that wormed is his that, way into my heart and, was that always a thing for you uh keeping like were you were you okay with keeping in touch with your exes or yeah, I, I always predisposed to. Uh, there's only one of my relationships that ended in a like, like you know, badly. Yeah, yeah. Basically, you dropped me off at the airport, and I like walked through the, the the doors, and I saw like the outlet, and I just like plugged the laptop to the outlet. Okay, now listen to me, you prick. We never were. <laughs> it's like, my name doesn't cross your lips. Your name doesn't cross my lips. You don't ask me how I'm doing. You don't say hi. Like this was like weird. I just want my energy detached from yours as quick as wow. as humanly possible. Don't want you no ill. Don't want you, I just the opposite of love is indifference, and I want that to happen as soon as fucking possible. This is a great. This is a great service. You should. You should you should you should sell that service to people to be to like is that I love I love that entire soliloquy of, of what you just said. You should sell that for people that want to break up with people. Be like, hey, yeah, yeah. I can write your farewell text. I can write yes, your like, farewell email. Well, it wasn't particularly effective because the fucker tried to contact me twenty six times over the next year, three times, including which he put his hands on my person. Oh, yeah! Wow, that Who's did not your go well. It's her name. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Huh? I'm sorry, I was distracting. <laughs> No, no, but it, 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 it happened very well because the thing is, is that when this one ends, I'll apologize for James. Yeah. Downhill, guys. Like, I, I don't have any that's other setting anymore. Good. That's good. You uh, know what the three most exciting sounds in the world are? Oh, uh, no. Breakfast is served, lunch is served, dinner. Oh, no, no, no. The gurgle of a bong, the click of a switchblade, and the moan of a satisfied whore. That's yeah. the one. That's yeah. how the movie yeah. actually went. Yeah. Yeah. So no, it, uh, yeah, when, uh, but uh, he had, you know, sometimes, you know, when you finally catch on to who someone is, no, mm -hmm. I guess, and, and you oh. start giving them their candy, <laughs> mm -hmm. right? Yes. yes. Well, that's what happened, right? It's like, I finally caught on. It's okay. I know exactly who you are. And I stopped giving because I know exactly when this relationship is over, I know what you're going to go and tell all your friends Yeah. about me. I'm going to be the complete opposite of that. Right. I've told this story to friends i've never once to anyone said who this person is i've talked of about course. what happened to me i never said who done it right. this person probably went out and tell everybody oh, he's crazy he's nuts no, 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 no stage five whatever and all that kind of stuff right because well one day we were at an event and i was <clears throat> it's an event that was high protocol let's say it that way okay all right so you're not supposed to put your hands on another person without having permission doing that and uh so he put his hands on me and i told the person whom i was with i said this thing happened and um went and had a little conversation and said you know what uh i don't know what your history is but you know he's here with me yeah do not touch him please well turns out that at this event the person i was with happened to be the keynote speaker for the event <sighs> so the guy completely imploded himself in a room full of people I guess with someone that was of extremely high reputation. Oh shit. I've never heard from him since. <laughs> nice. I kept my tongue in my mouth for a year and a half and he came to an event at which he knew I was going to be. Because to I was apologize, on the, hopefully. On the, uh, my name was advertised on it. 
that I was going to be there like this. And all weekend long, he tried to get my attention. I was like, I was just not having it like this. I shake, I shook his hand, you know, when was there an the apology at least I had to nothing that no, would have been nothing, so nothing. humiliating for nothing. him that he probably is masturbating to it. <laughs> I would not <laughs> doubt that for one second. He That's is. That he does not then James is going to, I was just going to say, I'm uh, going to tonight. That's going to be fantastic. It was just, just the, the it scenario. was so fucking. I tried to tell you guys, it's all downhill. I, I have no other story. <laughs> revenge is, no, I've always believed that revenge is a dish served, best served swans and dinner cold. Absolutely. Okay. So it's, it's like, best when, when he, was, he was just imploded all on his own with no help from me. I was like. Thank right. <laughs> you. <Okay. laughs> the pregnant pause was brilliant there my friend. <laughs> wow oh yeah yeah no he didn't need trust me best 240 pounds i ever lost nice he did need a favor. <laughs> he should have been 190 and we both know it yeah know? yeah now he dumped he, he dumped me three days after christmas with a seven page letter telling me how i had an attitude problem because i didn't want to do something that i did not want to do yeah, seven pages. That's a sign of guilt, not fucking. With an airplane ticket, sending me back home like I was an inconvenient rent boy. Well, at least you get your trip home. That you know what? That's actually not a bad. That's like a silver lining, really, if you think about it. As much of an insult as the plane ticket oh, is, no. at the same time, at least you saved a couple of bucks. Oh Plus, no, I did. The next like, three and a half years, Douglas, you actually became a rent boy and a pretty yeah. good one. It, it seems so. But I was like, I was at home like New Year's Eve all of a sudden in my, my condo in Ottawa. And it's like, three days ago, I was in Florida with yeah. someone who had put a ring on my finger. And we were spending time together to see whether or not we would move in together. And I'm, mm -hmm. how the fuck did this happen? <laughs> yeah. I'm actually oh, shit. How what the hell story? did I end up back home? Like. What the fuck? <laughs> so when's the book come out? When's the book come out, Douglas? Because uh, I'm I'm first in line to go buy that book. I never thought of that actually. You would you have a very interesting. You, every time we ever talk about anything to do in your past, it's very interesting. It's very compelling. Um, your your the way you weave a story is, uh, like no other, and that's why I love having you as a uh a, well. a, counterpart here on the network it's it's one of my you're one of my favorite people to listen to when you you could tell me the weather and i would all love right. you more settle than down. frankie settle down right? just saying you know, i love him i love i love <laughs> douglas i think I, I think douglas is uh is fantastic and, and i'd read your book i'd read Same. your book too yeah well then i must you know what people told me two years before i did the podcast that i should do a podcast and i said nobody wants to listen to some sassy old queen talk about politics <laughs> there's That's no market. absolute they bullshit <laughs> and it turns out yeah so, see i'm looking maybe, like i'm looking at the comments maybe, and people maybe, people maybe are falling the over them people are falling okay. over themselves in the comments about you and in the, in, yeah. in, on youtube so just so you're oh, aware. thank you everyone sorry we can't see them great. in the show but yeah, like when that. you blocked me, I, people were like, "What did you do?" <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. No yeah. Like, I didn't like, tell anybody that I no, did. I did. No, no, I, we, I we like, all saw. We knew that James pissed you we off. Talked we talked about it. <laughs> we announced it on the show. Like, I got <laughs> phone calls. Off, Douglas, I got, I, you know, I got like, I got one of these, like, no, no, you know, just say not for nothing. But why would you? Da, 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 da. And I was just like, who? What? What PR company is working for this man? Like this is he's like the Nigel it's Wright of podcasters. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest PR ever. <clears throat> so now now we're back as friends and, and it's gonna be great. And um, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and let me make it clear, we never were not friends. Well, I didn't like you for a while. I don't know. It's just, wow. <laughs> just kidding. You, put, <laughs> just you pushed a couple of buttons and I decided it was better to like retract rather than say something stupid that I would regret later. Nobody right. said it on the show yeah. yet tonight, but you know. James, James, what a cunt! You're a cunt. See, no, nobody's no, used I, the c word today yet. So we were I just—I not... I, I just recognized that we were in that loop, right? I where nothing just... is going to get better. I'm not. Yeah, but look, I just need to say like, we can't just let the cunt go by. Um, <laughs> I'm just know. kidding. Never I was just saying it because I haven't no, no, said too yet. Too late. Too late. It's already there. The float has already passed the parade of kids, and now you can't take it back. Even though I've, you know, had some stuff there that was questionable. Yeah. Don't ever do that on my podcast. <laughs> Don't do that on his podcast. I'm just, I'm just throwing him off. I'm just trying to throw him off. Well, trying to you give me know shit. I have ADHD. 
Now I do forget what the fuck I was going to say. That's not fair. <laughs> oh, oh, I, no. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I have no idea what the problem is here. Okay. All right. Something about our... I've had to pee for an hour, okay. so I'm going to go the... now. because that's No! No I one moves. Like for a bit. No what were we moves. talking about? No one moves. Seriously. <laughs> shut up. No, I have this problem too, but I can't. Shut up. Everyone shut up. But Douglas, say it. pee. Let her go. Go pee. We'll look at your room. Go pee. We'll look at We'll look at the living room. What's that, Douglas? You said that you didn't like me for a bit. No, it I was said, after I did, that. I, long, I didn't. Stop, I, I, I never stopped liking you. It was because I used the. I called you the c word. I called you a cunt. Oh, the cunt thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just <laughs> honest. I can't help it, and it just sounds cunty. I, I sound cunty to a lot of people because I don't you have do. a filter. I, I don't, or at least I. The only time I use filter is for vocabulary content. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I have a like if I want to say that somebody is like an egregious human being, instead of like calling them a cunt, I'll just say they're an egregious human being, and it makes people like really upset. And people mistake sarcasm for anger, or I'm just Absolutely. so good at sarcasm, and it makes them really upset because they're like, "Well, I can't top that shit," you know, yeah. like because I'm a battle rapper guy, right? Like I'll, I'll, right. I'll put layers on top of you and your psychology will be like on, on the floor and you'll be like why did you do that and i was like it was just a throwaway why are you just so did, mad? I, yeah <laughs> well, why didn't you just why didn't you hit me back i've that's been hitting funny. you the, I, I hit you 47 times why didn't you why didn't that's you throw right. a punch that's yeah no right. I, I get that i don't know I, I, you know douglas, douglas i'm sure is the same I, I guarantee you he has the same um ability it's just a matter of his delivery and his tact is a bit different than ours. Like we're, we're a little more brash. Yours is in that style of that. Like you say, that freestyle, that, that rap battle style. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just, a, I'm, 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 I'm actually the cunt. Like, and actually Lachlan said, Lachlan, Lachlan labeled me as the, and I swear to God, quote unquote, Ryan is the lovable cunt of this show because of, I can, I can tell you things and, still at the same time you're like oh he's a nice guy even though i just like destroyed you um but at the same time i, I was petting you and massaging your back and your shoulders while i was telling you how much of a piece of shit you are and lachlan says that i do that to him a lot and i don't see it but apparently i do when we get into it um so yeah but i i see you're the more brash one james so i think that's why people are quick to call you a cunt I don't think well, anybody would ever call Douglas a cunt. I think they would. No. I, I think they would. It would I literally can't. take them by the time they process what Douglas actually said to them in like the brilliant, beautiful English he uses. It would take them about three weeks to realize, "Hey, fuck, <laughs> fuck you, Douglas." And meanwhile, he's like gone, right? So I cut I off your head. You don't even know you're bleeding, bitch. <laughs> no one call. No one call Ashley that, please. So Ashley, why are you daring no, people Ashley. to do that? See, I do have a limit. I have a limit. <laughs> <laughs> He's got it. It's right there. I'm not going to call your wife the C word. I can't even say it. No. See, now I'm down <laughs> to that. Right. I actually like, so I do it in code sometimes on Twitter where I'm like, I do it vertically. Can you not talk? Yeah. And they only get it like three out of 10 times. Right. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Can you not talk? Like, fuck, I, I, it's social media. We're gonna talk. I don't yeah. understand what this means. Yeah. Canada Can under you. Not talk. <laughs> Terror alert. you Canadian United. Can you read the letters? Right. Yeah. <laughs> For some reason that, that word what? really bothers people. But like if you know any British or Scottish people, it's like saying I, asshole. My correctly. favorite, my, my favorite thing in the world is is Louis CK's um explanation of the word cunt. And he says it's it's chocolatey and round like i don't understand why people cunt. are so afraid of it cunt it's just such a nice word yeah. like it's and like a and, conch like you just want to put your mouth on it and just <laughs> mm -hmm. a so big my, my brother used conch. to call me cuntly doesn't even bother me it's funny cuntly. Man, i'm sorry what that, was check out that conch what did you say thing? ashley what did your brother call you cuntly Really? It was, like yeah, it was, like, it was like a joke growing up. Just like well, I'll, be seeing, I'll be seeing him on Sunday, and uh, we'll have a chat about that. But, yeah. <laughs> and by chat, you mean a <laughs> laugh. I'm sure. You know. Like you're, <laughs> but, <laughs> is it, but like, Ashley, is it a bad word for you? Is it when it like, because for some women, it's just like, like, it's probably over half of women are like, 
Oh, the C word? Oh, that's yeah, the deal. If somebody do, that I don't know says it, it's like, what the fuck is your problem? Obviously, but if, if we're friends, it's hilarious. Yeah. Mm. Okay, or or yeah. if it's or if it's used as a, as a descriptor, like, oh wow, that's really cunty. Like, I think that's funny. Like, I think it's yeah. funny when somebody cunty. says that. Yeah. Cunty I think is it needs funny. a. I think it needs a British, cunty. Irish, or Scottish accent. Accent. Yeah. Um, you dab so more of a cunt. Like if so those are all of the things my family cute. are, so maybe that's why it doesn't bother me. If I don't let this dog like... out, he's going to run through the glass door. Go. Me. Go, go, go. You know what it's like? If you have a there British are... accent and you say that word versus an American one, it's almost like the difference between the N-word when a rapper says it and when a Mississippi white person says it. Like yeah, a hard R. Like a hard R. A hard R, you know? Yeah. So it's it reminds... sort of like that. I'm, I'm now all I'm like thinking about is that, that scene in The Sound of Music where the superior goes, Maria, what is it you can't face? Oh, well, just the just, sound of music has the C word. No, um, it, what is it you can't face, but she pronounces can't. Hey, can't. what happened? What, what happened? It? Hey, what happened? What is it you can't face? It's at the end of that clip right oh, there. Yeah. Ready? <laughs> hey, what happened? What happened? Hey, what happened? What is it you can't face? What is it you can't face? <laughs> <laughs> and it sounds like she's saying can't face. <laughs> My favorite. Yeah, thing. You can't face. <laughs> that was from that was from the edge. <laughs> <laughs> How do you solve a problem like Maria? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Hey, what happened? What is it you can't face? Why don't you isolate that without all the other? What I'm going. I, I'm going to try and find it. It's it's <laughs> tough to it's tough to clip. So, oh okay, yeah. Oh, man. All right, well, Ashley listen, missed guys. it. That's like her favorite yeah, yeah. thing that I have yeah. in this. No, I, I she, caught it's the tail it? end. They know what you did. All right. <laughs> I know what you did. Yeah, yeah, we got it. We got the. That's one I haven't been able to bring myself to stay on this show. What's that, Douglas? Sorry. That's one I have not been able to bring myself to say on the show. Paul's the dropped C- it a couple of times. The c word, cunt. Yeah, c word. Yeah, oh, on your on your show, you on mean? Ours. Yeah, he's dropped it a couple of times, I think, and and referred it like a real see you next Tuesday kind of gal or something like this. It was referred to it like or yeah. or uh, or a cupid stunt. Ready, James? Right? She's a cupid stunt, yeah, but I haven't. Kind of. I, I'm just like every now and then I'm just like I hear a couple of I, I, I think it I mean this is, I'm not more pure it's like what a, what I, a what was, what a what is the origin I'm so, of the word? But I can't. I, I'm sorry. Yeah, what what? Say it. Come on, the origins of the word. Where does it come You're from? You're not going to get me to say it. <laughs> You're not going to get me to say it in that case. Just say cunt. What a. <laughs> See, Ashley said it. Ashley said it. Everybody on the panel has said it but you. Let's God, get him. Douglas, you're such Come a on, cunt. Douglas. It's Christmas. Mm-hmm. Give us a Christmas present and wrap that cunt in velvet it would and chocolate. Be, and it would be cunty if you didn't. Well, <laughs> why don't you quote one of us so it doesn't feel like you said it? <laughs> no, I, I don't. It's like, I think it's like the dick pic Uh-oh. because I know it can uh, be isolated. <laughs> so he fine. said that. <laughs> so no, Ryan will have it as a button all of a sudden. <laughs> I promise I will not. Time. I promise if I give you my word, I will not isolate you saying it. I promise I won't. <laughs> Paul, yeah, say yeah, cunt. You're not the only one who could lift audio off a track. Paul, yeah. Paul, say cunt. Paul. Hi, how you doing? Can you say cunt? Again, how are you? Good. I'm walking home and it's starting to snow really hard right now, and and the temperature's dropped. It's like minus twenty. So that, that weather's a real cunt, please. That re- weather's a real cunt, eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, the weather outside is weather. Weather. <laughs> now do it, Nova Scotia style. I'm not dropping the sea, dude. Not happening. Not doing. It. <laughs> now both of them won't do it. Oh yeah, he got rid of uh, <laughs> James through. Kick that cunt out. You're not gonna say it. <laughs> You're gonna be a cunt I've been about trying to end the show for 45 there minutes. Go, yeah. I'm not standing for that. You know, like, <laughs> that's not gonna happen. Gonna start piping cookies again. <laughs> oh, it's uh, terrible. Hey, let's bring him back in. Polly. Oh, he's gone. I was gonna say no. we could at least say Merry Christmas and good night. But yeah, no, he's oh, got bad signal. Back. I can see his hey, signal is his signal is terrible. See, that's all. I just is anticipating the signal. That's all. Ashley and guys. It is yeah. midnight. Ashley and guys. It's midnight. <gasps> is it? Merry it's Christmas, Christmas Eve. Oh, oh, you wow. know what? I, I'm dry. I Hang on. I have a cold cup of tea. I haven't eaten dinner yet. I'm starting to get grumpy. Really? <laughs> I really am. A little, like, I'm just have a Snickers. We can go another couple of hours. I may have to leave my own <laughs> podcast again. This this might happen again. <clears throat> I'm coming with you, bud. So 
Yeah, I'm fucking tired. Yeah. Yeah. In the comments, it, it, should it be oh. like the is this like the tr- new tradition for, for casual Friday? I just leave? Like is that what it's, it's come to? Um because <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, but, uh, you know, I've tried to segue out of this episode like four times now. Yes, you have. And um, each time I was met with a Ryan, (laughs) I believe. I keep trying to leave myself, but they keep bringing me back. (laughs) I can't understand why they won't let me out of the door. It doesn't make any sense. (laughs) I love it when you do that. (laughs) Oh, uh, by the way, the song I was telling you that I liked was Brethren. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I had listened I, to it about like 15 minutes before coming on. I think it really kicks ass. Oh, I appreciate that. It was easy. I, the inspiration was easy because they are so evil. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> you know? Like, fuck. It's weird how many, like, I didn't know my biggest circle of acquaintances as I got, uh, grew up would be ex-cult members. <laughs> but I have like a half dozen people that I talk to on a regular basis that are all people that were born and grew up in cults now, which is Jeez. really neat. Yeah. There's yeah. worse people that you can hang out with. Oh, totally. I, I actually had a couple of good friends, like these brothers, the three of them actually, and they were raised in the Lord's Army. They were like born and raised in the same cult that Stevie Nicks was in for a while back in the day. Mm-hmm. But um, it, yeah, the Lord's Army, and they were like they were uh, end time kind of culty people that you know were their own little ecosystem. And Stevie Nicks was a, the only cult she was in was like the California Line Painters Association. <laughs> Yeah. Totally. <laughs> what do you think I'm talking about? <laughs> I guess that was one of the advantages of everybody figuring out that I was gay before I did. Nobody wanted me in their cults. Oh my God. <laughs> God's got scared. I don't know about that uh, tone of voice of his. Yeah. He's yeah. No, no. Let's, yeah. Don't let's, recruit let's, that one. What, what tone of voice? Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't like that. That one's excited to be alive still. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Exactly. He seems very understanding. Fuck him. Fuck yeah, him. Right? Yeah. That Fuck cunt. that cunt. <laughs> <laughs> We're now sharing a brain. Proof that the podcast has gone on for too long. Okay. <laughs> anyway, okay. Um, I, I grabbed. A, I grabbed a. In, it's cranberry uh, ginger ale and whiskey uh, to give you a cheers to Ooh. your uh, your Christmas Eve. So. Oh. Hold up. This is not enough to do full cheers. There we go. Okay, I had a well, sip of water, now. like the same amount of water that you put on your forehead when you do the thing. Well, That's Jesus great. makes that into wine. You can just hang out and just wait yeah, for yeah. it. It'll be good. It's, it's wine in becoming. Don't hold your breath. <laughs> I'm cooking Italian food. Um, like, look at, listen, Paul. Listen, buddy. <laughs> Like it comes from every like how you were just outside. How the fuck it's did only that happen? Blocks away. It really is. <laughs> Do you see the number in the top left corner, Paul? Do you see that number? It's two fifty six in nineteen seconds. We gotta get rubbing three. On them. Let's push it to we're three and then go. I'm going to here in three minutes. And three. I'm going for smoke. Would you be yeah. back when I get back? I don't know. We'll yeah, see. Do I care? We'll see what no, happens. Sure. You don't care. We'll wait for you. <laughs> there we go. Oh, now look at that. I won't. Douglas has the top left. You're the host, sir. Well, there you go. Well, hello, everyone. Welcome to Black Bolt, hosted by uh, Mr. Beaver. Um, tonight, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to talk it, to three. It's really cold out, guys. <laughs> it's, it's Let like... him get through the fucking intro, Paul. Jesus Christ. Oh, sorry, Stop sorry. being such a cunt. <laughs> Today, we're going to we're gonna talk <laughs> to right. three Cupid stunts. Uh, <laughs> oh, it was so cute. It was so close. We've been trying, Paul, just so you know, we've been trying for the last 20 minutes to get Douglas to actually say the c word. On the I've show. seen a couple of contexts. I just, just haven't said it. Nice. I haven't. And it's, it's not that I haven't said the word. I have said the word. I just haven't said the word. She's a. No, <laughs> we wouldn't want to say that, and, and and that's that's a tough one to swallow, right? Yeah. Um, we don't want to say that about anybody, really. No, 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 no. Uh, but but to 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 describe as a descri- like as a, as an adjective, it's okay. Cunty. Um, I kind of do. Um, is that okay? What's that? <laughs> want to call some people cunts oh yeah no it's it's funny you have that license you're allowed okay well so a lot of my a lot of my buddies are are from the uk and from australia so i mean that that's like 
part of vernacular. Yeah, you're being the Aussies an, especially, right? Yeah, yeah, you're being an idiot is is akin to you're a cunt. That guy's yeah, being a cunt. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. being a cunt. Yeah, and I get that, but I mean, I understand where Douglas is coming from, but to use it as a descriptor or a and like I I say, oh, yeah. I, I've always said I've always said profanity is 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 the spice of vocabulary. Okay, it's like salt and pepper. If you use it too much, you ruin the dish. So if yes. you're if you're using it sparingly and properly, you can you can make it a, a world class cuisine, and that means your vocabulary is a is is edible by everybody. It's and it doesn't matter. I I swear to God, if there was a time that I could have met. The Queen of England, I would have slipped in some sort of profanity, and she would have enjoyed it. I guarantee it. Enjoyed I would have figured it. out a way yes. to do it. Well, I, I did yeah. meet Princess Diana and Prince Charles back when they were first married. So that's a humble break. <laughs> Is it though? Yeah, really? Is it though? I don't Is it really though? Did you call her a cunt? No, I right. didn't. <laughs> no. Call him a cunt? No, he's the cunt. Did you he call is him a cunt? <laughs> well, he you is. You could have. I, <laughs> I would like was, fully condone that. It was 1982. I was 14. I didn't know he was who he is at the time. Um, and, and I mean, I was just enamored with her because, well, come on. Who Lady Di, Princess well, yeah. Diana. I mean, come on, come on, come on. Forget about right. it. Right. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah, it no, was the, weird. The it was like, was. Uh, well, so, hang on. Here's here's the benchmark test, Douglas. Would you for what? Princess, Princess Di. Di. She was fabulous. What? <laughs> well, so yeah, but would you? Oh, for... for Princess you know Di. Are, are, are there any? Honest, are there no, any that no. you would? That would you? I am double gold star. Yeah. Never are you really? Out. Hey. Oh, good for you. Good never, for you. I've, I've never, you know what? I find women absolutely gorgeous. You know, if a woman's wearing a bustier and I have consent, I'd love to kiss the girls. Yeah. I love them, you know, it's like, mm, but no tingle. Nothing no way. Eh? There. Th- there's not there. a gay man alive that doesn't appreciate a woman's breasts. You're like oh, Wagyu. Yeah. I have a you're very like unhealthy beef. obsession with women's breasts. <laughs> you're like pure. You're like, you're like the, like the driven snow. <laughs> no, it's yeah, yeah, no, no, it's just uh, nothing, just that thought never even enters my mind. Not at all. Yeah, there it's like, not, if, not, if there's like, even, like on a scale no, of no, zero no. to 10, I'm like, a, uh, if I'm not a 10, I'm a 9.9. I'm like, I'm like, way James, gay. you missed, yeah. you missed it. Um, no, 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 I, was listening, I was listening. I was listening. Oh, okay. not, not even anal with Princess Di? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Dude. We don't even know. My we shit? don't know what Douglas what? is into. I don't know weird, what you're, you're assuming. Fucking weird. I like what is weird. I, it's like it's just like asking. Not even. I am not a princess, prude. Diana. <laughs> I mean, come on. Like, well, come let's on. make thing. Well, was, when's when, when, one thing clear? I am not a prude. Like yeah. this. I've probably done it. Okay. <laughs> princess Diana. If you can think it, I've probably done it. Okay. okay. That, that's that's all I'm gonna say. But, I don't mean now. She's a she's not alive. I I meant no, when she no, was no, alive. No, definitely definitely Jesus not. Christ. That's one thing I have not done. <laughs> Jesus That's one thing Christ. you can think of that I have not done. Hey, you want to stop in for eleven? I want to eleven. You want to stop in for a cold one? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, you guys keep talking. I need to go put some ice on my penis. Oh, okay. Hey, you want to stick <laughs> one? What, what, what was the old story? Fair. The old story. Uh, uh, when I die, bury me ass up so somebody will have a place to park their bike. <laughs> Oh my! I always thought God. it was kiss my ass, but that's a new one. Whatever you're into, <laughs> well, I guess. I think that's what Lachlan. That's what Lachlan will have ATM for the bike cars. lanes. I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they look like locker asses. Will freak at that one. <laughs> There'll be a locker room sticker on every one of them. That's right. <laughs> like there was two people on one dildo. <laughs> well, you know, that would, nice. economy of scale. That right? would get <laughs> oh, yeah. no, dude, seriously, I had to leave the pub because I was standing there and I was talking to the bartender, lovely woman, Bree. Um, just we've been chatting for I don't know a couple of years now, and she's like, uh, "Dude, uh, look!" I, I look to my right, and all these women are coming up to me and like, "Santa, Santa!" I'm like, "Yeah, it's time to leave." It is time to leave. It's getting no, weird. No, it's time to stay. No, no, no. Leave no. with somebody. Everybody wants to unwrap the package. They're 19 years old. I'm oh, 54. Yeah, it's kind of no. Oh, no, creepy. then you go. No. Yeah, no, like, you got to no. run. Yep. Just coming right? from the guy with a wife that's 10 years younger, but yeah, you need to leave. 
Well, I mean, really? come on, ten look. years younger. Hi, my sweetie's yeah. ten years younger too. Look Good at us, fun. eh, Cradle Robbers. I love hey. it. That's a high five. Hey. That's a high five to Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I like and, and Ashley. Good choice. Ashley. Good choice. Thank you. I thought so. <laughs> Hell, I thought so guy, too. Right? It's a good decision. Do you know? Still to hey, this day, cute. it's like, oh he's my cute, god! He's funny and he can cook. Keep him. Still to this right? day. Still to this day, I. <laughs> it's 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 like Christmas every day. Oh, for <laughs> fuck's sakes! Jeez. She like Christ. She's I won still the here. Lottery. We're in love. <laughs> She's I won the lottery. Here. I won the lottery. Holy shit! Yeah. I won the lottery. I look um, at my bank. I always wonder, like, if there's like hidden money that I don't know about in my bank account somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Does she know I have money that I don't know about? Uh, no. I just like you. I think she actually loves you. Yeah. Weird. You know, you know, weird, crazy. Yeah. yeah. Um. Well, don't be gay yeah. about it. Oh, fuck Fine. off. Can I? <laughs> you can be. <laughs> <laughs> well, so um, catch James at the Laugh Bucket and yeah, exactly. Connectity, Connecticut next week. <laughs> I can't remember any of the things I said, but I'm pretty sure I'll get in trouble for something. Like, something. I guarantee somebody's pissed off somewhere. It's just so good. that is not a representation of of Alberta. And that's yeah. there you yeah, have. We're going to have to put a uh, new rule on this podcast about farting noises and also Lachlan. Noises. Lock drops are great. Uh, yeah. Lock would never come on your podcast, but now he's here reluctantly. Sometimes you can't distinguish between the fart noise and the Lachlan, but still. <laughs> Well, he's going to come to the show. It's subliminally. I'm allowed to. I just think I think it's back. great to have him here because you know he would never come back. Yeah, I don't know. So if now, he he's here. Now, okay, he's, honestly, now he's here. Now he's like, here. I don't think now I don't know if he never would. He might not now be that you said that and he'll just do it as a bit. But like, you know, we 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 have a good professional relationship. I think now. You know, I would think so. Yeah. Professional. Did you not talk at all? Him? But when we're on the same podcast, it's fine, right? Yeah. Oh, well, that's what like, Ryan. Ryan's like, yeah. uh, you should yeah, hear what when you get off. Give him a call. Yeah. Give him a call. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm going to bid you adieu. I just wanted to stop in, say hello, and wish you all a very wonderful evening and a happy Christmas time. And it's time for Uncle Paul. Paul. So fucking creepy. Go to sleep. I'm gonna fall asleep here. Jesus Christ. That's the idea. That's the ASMR. You sound like you. You sound like you, you, sound like you have a 19 year old tied up in your fucking closet right now. Stop it's, it. It, it, it puts true. the lotion on its skin. <laughs> or the hose again. Listen. Listen. <laughs> hear the background. Hear. She's there now. Oh, <laughs> she's there. Oh. You can hear her. Hey. Oh, Yo, honey. Awful. Yo. You're awful. If you need help, you know what? Say the code word. The Major sign. Snowstorm. What's the sign? Oh, my God. Again? There's no pit in my apartment. <laughs> cancel, canceled, cancel. Black balls have been so, canceled. This was nice. Um. <laughs> All right. Oh, All I right. I think I've lost my role as okay. adults in the room. Ryan, <laughs> yeah. that's not right? fair. That PTSD triggering for me, that fucking sound. <laughs> Is that a dildo? Or that's your finger. That's pissing no, That's my finger. <laughs> <laughs> this, this one will be even worse. Trudeau must go Saturdays for freedom. <laughs> the fuck was that? French people yelling that Trudeau has to go. That sounded like, who's that MMA fighter? And GSP, George. Oh, Sanders. GSP. Yeah, that sounded like George, George St. Pierre. Play it again. Play it one more time. Imagine Ew. George St. Pierre. Trudeau must go Saturdays for freedom. I can't hear that That's the same okay. way now. Now I see his face when I hear that. I can't and his tiny, it. tiny shorts. Yeah. 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 Trudeau <laughs> must tiny go shorts. Saturdays for freedom. Not, not the tiny shorts. He looked so, like a human penis. He was not attractive. Well, he was just very streamlined and oh was sleek. that why i found him cute yeah so so, so, like so a, giant dick. Like a human penis a couple really? of years ago my buddy goes That's you gotta funny. watch GSP. Never he's, a, he's, he's a badass fighter he's this he's that you gotta watch it i'm like so i watched one uh mma fight with gsp and i'm like okay um is this gay porn <laughs> Because I'm like, all he did was bring this guy to the ground and then dry hump him for like 30 minutes. And I've always thought that about MMA that's the entire grappling. time. Paul. Douglas loves it. Look how excited he is. <laughs> his pay-per-view like, bill. His pay-per-view. Pay <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with it, but I was like, okay. this is, this is, this is, why are straight men watching this? Did you this just slide and tell George St. Pierre? 
Not yeah. that there's anything wrong with it. <laughs> yeah, but, well, I did. <laughs> he did, Not that didn't there's he? anything wrong with it, but it was like straight men going, oh, GSP, GSP. And I'm like, um, this is really homoerotic shit. And I'm like, fine. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it's like. There it is again. All sports is. All sports but, is, really. I'm just happy that they got to, like, pick careers where they could just hug all the men that they wanted to all the time. Like, it's if that's true. What makes you happy, all then you sports get it. Is, all you sports it, is honey. like that. If you said, what re- what requires people banging into each other and sweating, it's either porn in or tights. sports. Yeah. In tight I pants. I played yeah. goalie. I don't yeah, like okay. men touching me. I well, played that's goalie. very homophobic. Touch me. No, not homophobic. Cancel him. <laughs> Look, no, when no, you no, get no. Done, if he was homophobic, he wouldn't be doing a show with me. When you get an unwanted <laughs> hand job true. from a male nurse a while you're 11 years old and you're on your back in a Those cancer you ward, you kind of you kind of not like men touching you. It, it's it, you are right though, James. It, it is all sports. There's no other profession like you don't see Bob from accounting going to um, uh, you know, Dave and Billing and just like grappling him because he's mad about like receivables yeah. not matching up with payables that's right and, and that movie right i think <laughs> i have seen that movie and the i think i hit sport, the wrong category on pornhub once and saw that but the, yeah, the, no. what, the one sport that Oopsie. doesn't have the bodies crashing into each other is baseball and everything else about baseball is yeah. really homoerotic right like, <laughs> yeah well there's a lot of butt tap in there bat balls and bags that's what else do you need, right? Hey. Like, right. Yeah, well, what's the, hey. what, what's the, uh, the big Olympic sport where it's like uh, not, Bats, not skeleton, balls but the and other bags? One. Luge. The double luge. luge. Thank you. Double oh luge. Oh, my God. Totally they actually, did. and you know what? Equality has finally come to double luge. They're letting women do double luge now. So there For you go. Time. It's called scissoring. So, scissoring. Yes. Yeah. Scissor luge. It's called scissoring. Oh. <laughs> Melissa is a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look, look, I, I just I had a really stand. nice conversation with a lovely uh, non-binary person a few minutes ago who looks female um, and and has the, the the hormones of a female, but is non-binary and and is clearly uh, mask. I was it, I was just Abort. like. Abort. I'm very confused. I'm very confused right now. It's like, I'm like, this person is incredibly good looking, like stunningly beautiful. And she's, uh, sorry, they are like 20, maybe 21 at the oldest. And I'm like, I, you can't sit on Santa's lap because Santa's freaked out by this because I am like older than your father. I have to go home. How does this get? You you take a. You have a wonderful evening. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. Have a great time. Paul's going. Bye, Paul. (laughs) Take care, everybody. (laughs) Happy Christmas. I'll see you soon. Merry Christmas, brother. I love that man. I love that man. So, what do you guys want to do now? For fuck's sake. (laughs) I'm going to bed. Um, yeah, this gonna, was fun. Thank you so much this. for having me. Yeah. Okay. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. That ended on a note, didn't it? <laughs> no. You know, I think Ashley and I are actually on the same page. To be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, sure. I think, it seems yeah. we've had a good run unless you want to keep going, Ryan. <laughs> uh, yeah, right? We'll just leave Douglas and I here. We're going to solve all the you problems. You queens carry on. That's world. That's world. Party time. Can Excellent. Teach me, Excellent. Teach me how to do the wave properly before we, uh, we go. <laughs> nice. All right, guys. Wow. It's nice. It's been it's been a slice. It's all about conserving energy because I'm doing this eight fucking hours a day. That also looks like a lesbian <laughs> maneuver, doesn't it? I'll, I'll ask a couple. Actually, I think you can... I think you can order toys oh, that fuck. are okay, in now this. Now I'm leaving. Yeah, because position. I have small hands. Actually, this there's a whole thing. Like well, you do. Yeah. I was yeah, raised like, by lesbians. They're like it's like being raised by wolves, except they're lesbians. <laughs> sure. Did they scissor? They did. Or luge? Did. Sorry. Can we, Douglas? Can you? Can you? Can you actually table something at the next at, at the next meeting of of the gays? Can oh you God. ask them the lesbians to? change it from scissoring to luging after this conversation tonight can you ask them to just start calling it the luge i will ask my sisters whether or not they'll consider i love that. you thank you yes. my man uh, you're, because, you're, and i'll also pass it by the council of elders i can't i can't thank you enough for having our straight voices impede on on the gay community like oh, that right. it's fantastic you know, thank you anything we can do to like you know 
grease things up for you to make it easier. We're, I know you guys love accommodating. Oh, speaking of, speaking of that speaking toy. Of <laughs> speaking of that toy. Yes. This one. <laughs> Again, the, again Once the last you get bucket. past where the thumb is, it's, it's <laughs> that is smooth sailing. That's right. Again, it's, it's and then chuckle. you go like this, and then magic occurs. <laughs> it's it's chuckle fox and cheek to waga. Live long and prosper. Well, yeah. to well too. Oh, this is true. <laughs> Just saying, live long and prosper works really well as well. It's true. It's also true. Yeah. Have a great night, That's guys. Extra fun. Yeah. All right. <laughs> You're Merry Christmas. Christmas. Went to TMI. <laughs> Merry Christmas to all of you. Merry yeah. Christmas. I'm probably going to do 14 shows before New Year's. <laughs> I'm going to. <laughs> are we doing this again next week? By the way, of course we are. I, I, dude, I'm doing. I already have like five shows. I'm doing Ukrainians. I'm doing a, a, a show with a person who quit her job as a Las Vegas reporter and a popular one. Uh, I forget her name right now. Um, um, and <laughs> very is, popular. Well, no, you know what? I can look it up. Um, and All is right. uh, and quit her job as a reporter. Her name is Sarah Ashton Cirillo, and she joined the Ukrainian army. Oh, okay. Oh, I've seen this. Yeah. I know who exactly who that is. It's a blonde girl, right? Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. I know who I know who that is. So she'll be on um, on uh, Monday cool. or Tuesday, and so very cool. And I'm gonna do a bunch of brethren shit and the Sherman murders light topics you know oh yeah. you're gonna get offed Fluffy. keep talking about the shermans well i'm not even breathing hard yet so I'll, you've got to stop doing off. fluff man i know eh stop doing oh, these yeah. fucking Actually, these, non-consequential these pieces fluff pieces that like <laughs> seriously I did fluff piece. my last fluff piece was yesterday it was the tom green piece <laughs> desperately seeking tom green i called it and no one cared about it at all like honestly like it got go to dean like blundell twice. actually it's trending on the website just so you know the tom yeah, green that doesn't article. mean anything because i know it does the data. i know the data <laughs> I, I can send it to you if you want but your your piece was actually no, like number four this afternoon but the, trend, but the trending stories on the site do not match the data most of the time because and I'll tell you why the Parkland shooter story was like number one for like three weeks, but if you look at the data, it was like a dozen people a day. <laughs> so I don't know why it was there. Like, they know, were very consequential people that were reading it, James. Yeah, yeah, they they count for more traffic. If you're at, if you're wondering what we're talking about, we're talking about the articles that we all write on this panel. Everybody here has articles on DeanBlundell.com, and you can go to DeanBlundell.com and search our names, and you will Actually, see things. Just go. From- Ashley, we love you. From all of us. Merry Christmas. You can go. Look at look at her. Pull she's muted her herself. We can't even and hear she's you. She's muted. Right. Thank you. Because I'm yelling at the dog. Oh. Oh. Ashley, good night. Good night. You have a good night. Go. <laughs> Thank you. You looked like me last me. week, and I just left. So you might as well. I think, I think yeah. She's too was, polite. It was yeah. nice Watch. To be if we here. keep talking, Thank she'll you so stay. Much for having me. Good night. <laughs> she'll good stay if we just keep talking. You know what? I'll make it easy. There you go. Oh. What? She I didn't actually, actually do it. I was about no, to. No, she actually left on her own. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was no, going to say, we keep talking. She's too polite. She'll just stay. <laughs> you saw, I have a friend whose girlfriend is like that. Like, she'll just be like this on the couch. <laughs> yeah. And so everyone's uncomfortable. And we're just like, why don't you just go home? David's got a ding, 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 ding. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love when people think that they are uh, holding everything together while they're snoring on a couch. It's my favorite person in the world. Oh, the best is when you wake up that person and they're like, I wasn't asleep. Yeah. <laughs> like totally indignant about it. I'm they're that being, person. They're being a total cunt. Yeah. Yeah. Then they tell you the next day what you said and you're like, I have no memory of this whatsoever. <laughs> you know? So you must have woken me up. So anything I said is not really my fault. That's right. <laughs> and then Douglas, sometimes you just pretend you fake it. I don't remember calling you the C-word. <laughs> Douglas, Douglas, wouldn't you wouldn't you say that that, that would be somebody being a cunt? <laughs> uh, my standard is a little higher. Mm. <laughs> my cunt tolerance is a little higher. Oh, there it is. Yes, <laughs> we got it. Okay, good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs> End it. I've said it before. Do it. <laughs> You've just pull the trigger. It. God damn it. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> uh, we'll see you next time on Black Belt. Fuck. That was way too long. Black ball. Black 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 ball. Black 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 ball. Black 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 ball. Black 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 black